Hello, everyone. We should be live now, ready to go and play some games. Uh, we're going to be playing some Assassin's Creed Valhalla today. Uh, because, uh, well, obviously, we need to get some progress done. I mean, it's been a while. Um, I mean, yesterday I did a bit, uh, but up before that it had been a couple of days, and I, yeah. I need to get, I need to, I need to actually get some progress done, otherwise we'll be sat here next year still playing this game when the DLCs are out and stuff like that, and I can't be dealing with that. We've got to get it done at some point in, in, a, in a realistic time sense, at the very least. So here we are, ready to become hashtag like a, a Viking, I guess. Probably more likely like an assassin, um, but whatever. Um, I've got the plants to bring to Valka. I can bring them to her whenever I want. Uh, and then we can go to the, those ends. What's down there? That looks like fun. I'm, I want to go down there, but I can't find a way down. I mean, I could, I could just parkour down, I guess. That's one way down. Or I could jump down and have really forgiving fall damage. But it looks like one of those falls where it'll just kill me. That wasn't very forgiving fall damage. I, well, I should have been dead, but yeah. You know what I mean. How does this game compare to Origins and Odyssey? You know, everyone keeps asking that question to the point where I just don't want to answer it because I've said it too much. Oh, God. It blows both out the water is the only answer I can give. I need to find a way above it and then, then fire in. Bam! Done. There we go. Wasn't that snazzy? Started the Kent arc. Well, that's an arc to start, isn't it? I guess world map-wise, we should go back to... Um... Yeah, we should go back to Ranvi. Tell her what we're saying. Just remember Valhalla yesterday, man. It's fucking amazing. Don't want to spoil anything. As all I can say is you will love... I've already played through the end at least once. Well, no, I've played through the end once. Uh, so I know what it is. Um, but... Yeah, that was before I was allowed to stream it. So, it's whatever. But don't spoil on the premise that there are people in the chat who haven't played the game. Please. Where is everyone? That's what I don't know. Where is he? Where is Sigurd? He is alive, but not with you. Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Randy. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor. We deserve the truth. I need to speak with Randy. Step aside, now. You never found him. Because you didn't look. God damn it, Dag. What a dickhead you are, son. I see you, Eivor. I know what you are. There's a bit of screen tearing there. That's weird. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Fulke, she... She slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances. Remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? He tortured him, Radri. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods. Okay, lovely little bit of pledge done. Now I could go and kip there, uh, or I could bring the plants to Valka. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read all the letters to see what it say. Read the Thane Holtz letter. You are a good boy. Who's the good boy? Oh, it's the dog thing. Invitation Eivor, old Giedrich wanted nothing to do with the formal ceremony to make him Elderman, but I have convinced him that it's for the good of the Shire. King Cherowulf himself will preside. If you are able to come, I'm certain Giedrich will be most appreciative. Cool. Raventhorpe status, Borough. Okay, cool. That's that's also Stazzy. Right. 
let's place the the book thing here. There we go. Top five books in Assassin's Creed. Let's go for a kit. Hope for the best. Okay, let's go see what my guy wants. Dag here. Stop there, wolf kissed. This ends now. Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment, because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dag, but that offer is gone. I have no need of it! My mind is fixed! Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home! Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death. Okay. Screen tearing again. I accept. I accept. We settle this now. Ah! A final act of courage. Well, you've got to accept. You... Well. The wolf girl is watching. You like a pig. Come on, Doug. Do your bits. You're just sliding about like a maniac. Walk a fool's path, Dag. This does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Amor. I will make it quick. Dag is a dickhead. It's sort of a character you never get along with. Like, he's designed to be there for you to not like him. Where the, I'm pretty sure there aren't this many people in the settlement. Where did half of these dickheads come from? Oh, it's the Viking boy. They're just the raiders. Okay, you've dropped your shield now, have you? Cool. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get. I, want to, see what you do. I can't access photo mode here. What do you know of honor that Sigurd did not teach you? You suckle at his feet and then leave him to die. You should have listened. Walk a fool's path, Dag. This does not need to happen. A coward to the last. We've already had this dialogue exchange. We don't need to have that dialogue exchanged four times. God damn it, game. Come on, Dag. Ah, Christ. I really did bait him out there. He's a bit of a tough one to parry, actually. I want to do the other thing, but okay, that does damage. Fool, Dag. See 
Oh no, I missed. Oh, what a waste. Why aren't the photo mode open here? On the knee. There we go. Well, now it's going to give me a choice now. I would not lavish it on this poor fool. He forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded, you gave him. That should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. Oh, I can send him to Valhalla or not. Or do I have to... You should not have come to this, old friend. You clearly weren't friends. Give Dag his axe. There we go. You can't deny him his axe. Fly to Odin's hall. Whatever you sought in this life. I love how there's less people now. <laughs> They all look at him so, so furious. And I will burn the fields and dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That, that is my oath. That is my oath. Be without your yarl, as I promise. What monster would deny Dag his axe? I don't know. Is there a monster among us so brave? I love how the music just cuts. You lived as you died, proud and defiant. I cannot begrudge you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend. But I remember them well. Okay, leave. I love how leave is an option. It just says leave. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's comedy. Right, okay. Quick save time. Da -da -da -da. I've denied him his axe. Fuck Dag. Oh, wow. Okay. So you're not a big fan of Dag, are you? Sir. I have the plant you asked for. It took some effort. Good, good. Thank you, Eivor. Here you are. And be careful. This brew will feel as cold as ice on your lips, yet will burn like a fire in your belly. Okay. 
Drink, drink, oh, drink the potion, not the Asgard potion. Drink the proper potion. Right, okay, here we go. We're off to... We're off the cock end. We've already been to Asgard. I think we're off to the other place. Jotunheim. Did you try out the new legacy outfits yet? No. Why does one try out legacy outfits? On the long ship, you asked Dag to tell a story. Eivor will talk about them as Dag... About them at Dag's grave. But you had none. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. I... I'm, I remember, you know, sometimes he'll talk about his stories and, yeah. That was on the other, that's the other, um, on the, on the other playthrough I did before I could even stream it. Yeah, but, oh well. I didn't really say all about, though, in this set, in this playthrough, because there, it doesn't have much purpose. It's a cool mechanic, but I've never had a use for it. Here we are. We are uh, here, I guess. Me, the man, Mr. McMahon. Now, I wonder what's the power rating here? I have not set foot in this realm in some time. What's the power rating here? 190. We're okay here. We can do we can we can do it. We're 175, I think. Yeah. The frame rate appears to be deader than my granddad here, but beyond that, it's it's fine. Hello, friend. Can I stab you? That's a civilian. No, that is a big blue man. In no way was this was was this was this a civilian. My God. <laughs> ah, it's glorious. Come drink with us, stranger. Oh dear. This couldn't possibly go well. You welcome, Monsieur. Our father's hall is a heaven to all. I remember there was a cauldron here once. Brought by Thor from Hemius Hall. A cauldron a mile deep, a mile of mead. I miss that cauldron. Father bet the cauldron on a foolish wager with Sutungar and lost. But we still have the ale from our brewery. Where is Agir now? He's gone to Utgar. He sent a cauldron to Sutgungar, but it never got there, so he's gone to find out what's what. Oh, but enough of that. You are a visitor to our great land, and we know its secrets. Ask of us your questions. Um, I seek mysteries. I want to know the unknown. Where should I look? There is a broken tower near Utgarver that was once a place of great magic. Perhaps there is still some to be found there. To magic! May we never be without it. I'll drink to that. Skull! Let us tell you more of our homeland. Tell me about the beasts of this land. What animals will I find in the wild? I have heard tell of a great bear of stone and ice that lives by a frozen lake. Enough talk. Time for a drink. Skull. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get knocked out in a minute by all this alcohol. Let us tell you more of our homeland. <sighs> Spin me a tale of tragedy. Once Thor dashed the great serpent Jormungandr against our shores. Many ships wrecked. Many Jotnar drowned. Seek a lowly tree of the shore and walk beneath it. You'll see. Now let us drink to the fallen. Skull. The camera sort of changed. I reckon Eivor's drunk now. Well. Is our ale taking a toll on you? <laughs> they did me dirty. 
course they did. So, the camera won't move with the bloody timing now. <laughs> he doesn't look best pleased. No? Not you? Ugh. Blimey. Well, it definitely doesn't look like um, anything good happened. There's a barrel clipping through a bench. And that can never mean anything good. Drunk English will note that AC is more unhinged than my father's old barn door. Not that my sisters and I need much encouragement to have fun, but I fear we may have gone a little too far last night. The ALC, the flying cart, our visitor has a trickster's tongue and a mind for mischief and we are along for a ride. Uh, I wonder if they could be persuaded to stay a while. Oh, okay. Well, that's peak. What's that? Why is this highlighted specifically? Come on, why is this highlighted specifically? Oh, I follow them. Hmm. That's another. Ah, yep. Yeah. Here we are. Well, hello there. You turned out to have quite a head for heights. Twas me. Hello. Where to from here? A head for heights. Ah. Okay. Well, that's a bit booky. Oh no, but it was a clever one. Well, what's that? How did this happen? Why is this highlighted at all? I'm very confused by this. Right, okay. Why is this James Cameron's avatar? <laughs> Oh, I can swim in ale. Oh, there's a key down here. Is there a corpse down here as well? That would be that would be hilarious. Nope, nope. There's just a there's just a key. There's just a key in a in the uh, in a big a big ale thing, and I can't resurface. There we are. And swimming in that makes me drunk more, does it? Oh god. Ah, bugger. That's not good. My masculinity is threatened by how short I am. And Eivor's kind of short anyway. But whatever, here we are. Just just absolutely wankered from the ale. Running around. Loving my life. I am binned. Can I, like, unbin now, please? I've had enough of being drunk. <sighs> Undrunk me. <laughs> I've, I give up on that. I, I give up. I don't, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> as fun as it was, I just don't give a shit. What's this? Wait, 
Where does one find keys? Well, gathered here, out of sight of the of gods and men and giants, to celebrate the union of Aesir and Jotnar, or Jotnar, or however you say that. Though our people be at war, scribbled out. Though our people don't always see eye to eye, mainly because we're so much taller. Pause for laughter. Look, they just love each other, all right. Can we just? Can't we all just get off our, off their backs? Who thought it was a good idea to let me write this? Vulgar doodles. Yeah, well, that's exactly what that says. <laughs> okay, maybe the, maybe the keys in the... Ah, hello. I found the key. There's two keys for this one. The other's over there. I found another key. Lob that out of the way. Collect the key. This is my key. Now this chest better have something of value in it for me. Probably, you know what? I'm absolutely certain it doesn't. It just has one of these Emer's bloodstones that I'll never use for anything, and that's fine. It beats a pointless piece of loot that I'll never use. Oh my god. Oh, hello there, friend. What? Have a bit of death. What an interesting encounter. The house is hidden by Yotnar magic. Oh, okay. I guess maybe I can climb some stuff. Assassin's Creed. Because that looks like it could be a way into some place. No, it's not. It's not a way into anywhere. Oh, what a shame. <sighs> okay. Let's go back down to the, to the ends. Where? Heart of the wood, where is the house? Gotta be up what is now a staircase, right? Ah, well that was weird. Alright, okay, I get the vibe. We're gonna spend the next couple of hours staring at big blue people. Please enter. Do not trouble to knock or announce yourself. Angrebola. I have travelled far to find you. And you are brave to darken my door alone. Where is my lover, the dark fox that slinks between my sheets? Loki stayed at home. Loki has stayed in Asgard to help rebuild the damage from a recent attack. How generous. And entirely unlike him. You used to be much better at lying. I am not Loki's keeper. I've come to understand Jotnar magic. Your method for moving Huga from one body to another. The Mead. You seek the Mead. 
Hiroki, you have long outstayed your welcome. Then I will take my leave. But remember what I said, Angarbova. You will see things my way in time. Uh, who, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> who was your visitor? She's powerful and cruel, and none of your concern. The mead she spoke of. Where can I find it? A slip of the tongue. Forget what you heard. Do not play games with me, witch. You would sell any truth for the right price. If one had the means to pay it. Ah, box ticking quest. There is a root called Hag's Claw. It grows at the bottom of a waterfall to the south, at the forest's edge. Bring me three roots from the place where the red moss thrives. Then we will speak of the mead. Ah. I will hold you to it. Who doesn't love a fucking fetch quest? Let's do it. Sure, it might have a narrative value, but it's still a fetch quest. Uh, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Find the e find and enter the waterfall. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll prove me wrong. I don't know. I don't even know if I did the Jotunheim, actually. If I, if I did, I think I'd remember it, so I probably didn't. I thought I had. Let's go fetching. Okay. That is, a, that is one strong fucking pig. Ugly fucking pig as well. I do not need to fight two of you. Why are they damaged sponges? The, I thought they. I thought you'd learnt your Odyssey lesson. Oh, for fuck's sake! Right. At least those pigs have a shorter attention span. It, it makes it a little bit easier. I can hear water. Gotta be one of these stones, right? There's something going on here. <sighs> ah. In ages past, the dam this damned place did see. Children thrice brought mewling spitting to life. Worms fang, worms claw. Blah, blah, blah. There's water now. What does it matter? Okay. 
Does I read chat? I do my best to, but if people are being pricks in the chat, I don't. Um, so, there we go. Right, let's continue. We'll find more routes as we go. I like, oh, there you go. See another route. One more route should do it. The air smells strange down here. So she killed any order members. I've. I've killed a few. I'm I'm working my way through it, but we need to really open up the uh, the 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 game a bit more to with the uh, with well oh, the fucking pledges. We need to pledge some more territories and go to those places and and seek out some more. The controller is now vibrating. Um, the sound effect thing is glitched again. Now I can just hear the sliding sound effect forever. I should find my way out. Oh yeah, I don't think the way I came is really going to be of much help, but whatever. Let's go. Can I save? Because I need to really quickly reload it because there's a sound effect bug and it's bugging me. Right, let's go. Hang on a second. Let me whip out a torch, because... Am I drunk all of a sudden? Why am I drunk? How am I drunk? How did I get drunk down here? That's what I would love to know. Um, I don't know if there's any value down here to where I need to go, but... I can't see shit because I'm drunk somehow. You load back in and Eivor's drunk. I mean, ah, oh. There's a lot to love about this game, but one thing I will say is that it's fucking broken. I guess, well... Remember back to what was said in the Asgard thing. I guess we go deeper, but there's no deeper to go. Oh well. I'll follow it through. I was at F7. If I jump in the beer pool, Ava was drunk for a brief time every time you fast travel. <laughs> yeah, no, I jumped in the beer pool and I reloaded the game because it glitched on me. And now I'm trying to find a way out. I'm struggling. Could I just fast travel out? No. Come on, Eivor. We can do this.
Bless his heart to escape. It's probably more so confusing than anything, but here we go. That wasn't so difficult. Ah, yeah, okay. That, that, it, it is harder than it looks. Right, I jinxed it there. I thought this was the exit, but no. Actually, maybe. I'm very doubtful that this is going to be successful. No, it won't be because there's no actual way up there. Oh, God, the water's coming from a... Ah, blimey. Well, at least I know where the entrance is, right? Cool. Right, now we just mooch on in. Follow it along, because we know where the entrance is. We know not to turn back on ourselves now. Right. You going to upload a review of this game? When I've got one done, yeah, sure. See that over there? I think that's our way out. I mean, it should be, at the very least. Don't fall for that one. Head straight to the exit. It looks like an exit because I can see light. Light implies to me that this is the way out. Oh, come on. Abel, please. Abel, please. There we go. <laughs> Took a little while, but we got there. The reek from this route turns my stomach. Check the world map real quick, for I must know. Oh, this is a big region, and yeah, I guess we just keep going. We'll go there for now. There's no real point in getting a viewpoint here. There's no viewpoints to get nearby. Oh, for fuck! You know what? I don't have time for you. <sighs> oh my god! Apparently, you're making time for me though. That's that. That's really nice. But I don't. Yeah, I'm a busy man. Oh, for fuck's sake. They wouldn't be so annoying if their health bars weren't ridiculous. But I can already tell that I'm not going to be their biggest fan. Oh my fucking god. Can we ease up on the murder pigs, please? You must be anonymous. Well, that's going to be difficult, isn't it? Ah, shit. See, problem is I'm detected by a dickhead right now. Do what they cannot do. Assassin's Creed. Ah, the house. The gaff is hidden again. Right. I'll have to reveal it. There we go. The ends are revealed to me now. No longer hidden from my sight. It me. It is indeed you. Hello. Hello, Katie. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Need to add Hytham's robes to this goddamn game. They, they, yeah. Come on. Let us play. Let us play with Hytham's robes. That would be great. Why not? I'm back. I have done as you asked. Now. Where's my wisdom? Give it a moment to brew. There. An elixir to ready your spirit. How will this bring me the meat? It will open your mind to the secrets of the world. While we wait, let us speak of Asgard. How fared your defenses after the last attack? Why do you ask? We, um, we have been weakened by treachery. Without time to rebuild, we what's that effect? We may not withstand another attack. Asgard. Wait, I, uh, I, I did not mean to say that. I, I feel. 
Strange. Hexclaw has a way of untying the tongue. <laughs> now, you have said you want the mead, but how badly? How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would. I would give all that and more. I would like to see that. Oh god, it's Loki. You Loki. showed up. What trickery is this? I have sapped your strength, Havi. And I will take your life if your answers displease me. Did you think I would not come for you after what you did to my son? Our son. Fenrir. What was... What, what went... What was that? Hang on. What disconnected um, there? I need to know what disconnected there, because if it's something that's going to cause me trouble, I'm better off knowing now. I best bet an external hard drive of some sort. No, everything's there is fine. That was weird. Sorry. Let's go. Name I think you have heard before. Yes. In the final reckoning. The wolf Fenrir will be my doom. Now you know. Now you can no longer deceive. Tell me, what will you do with him? <laughs> I will kill him. I will kill him. Or I will kill him. It's a difficult decision. That, uh, that was a difficult decision there, Ubisoft. I want you. I almost said decise, decise. But I cannot. I swore an oath to you, Loki, and I will not break it. I will not take his life. Fenrir will be imprisoned until the day of prophecy, when we will meet upon the field of battle, as we are fated to. Then we will bind you until that day, as you mean to bind our son. <laughs> an eye for an eye. I see she let you live. You must have done something right. <laughs> let me help you down from there. No, no, no! Wait, wait, wait! No! Ah! No, I'm sliding. Okay. I like how I got to keep all my weapons. Bit of an interest. How did you get down here? You could have let me down gently. That would presume I cared for your comfort. Then why release me at all? For the same reason you are in Jotunheim. You seek the mead, and I can help you get it. I assume there is a price. I want a small sample for myself. The rest is yours. Fair? Do I have a choice? Of course you do not. The mead is kept by Sutungr and his daughter Gunlodr in the vault at their home in Utgardr. The vault is opened only on occasion of a great feast, when Sutungr shares the bounty of his cellar. And it would be a poor host who did not throw a feast for a distinguished visitor. Say, the High One of Asgard. You are not as ox-witted as I feared. What's your interest in the mead? Why do you want the mead? My motives are not your business, as yours are not mine. All you need to do is get it. I must bring a mighty gift to Sutungar, if I am to earn my welcome. That idiot drunkard Agir recently lost his cauldron to Sutungar in a wager, but it disappeared on the way to Utgardr. Sutungar would be grateful indeed if I returned that cauldron to him. Seek the tree that wears the scars of the World Serpent Scales. The cauldron would have passed by there. You might also bring a gift for Gunlodr. There are treasures that would flatter her in Thrymmer's house by the lake near Utgardr. I will bear that in mind. When you have the mead, join me at the Well of Mimir. There I will show you how to escape your doom at Ragnarok. 
Okay. Ah, multiple quests accepted, right? Maybe. Ha 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 Bam. There we go. And they turn into grass. Because of course they do. I should get that viewpoint and I should look around for some rations to uh to improve my health situation. <laughs> Realistically speaking, anyhow. Uh, right, okay. How many... Is that... Oh, okay, so... In the last hour of playing near enough, we've only gained two skill points. Oh, the pain. I need to get this viewpoint. I'd love to know what it is that's growing from this tree, but I get the vibe that whatever it is is not going to be a very pleasant discovery. Assassin's Creed, grass. Assassin's Creed, fungal infection. After 70 hours, I just googled the endings. Ah, uh, you see? That sounds like ruining for yourself. No, Dr. Tim Branches, it's very high up here. Mustn't be afraid. I've watched how the masters change shape, seen them turn into beasts. Won't they be amazed when they see what I can do? Won't they celebrate when they see I'm like them? I've learned the secret phrases. All I have to do is believe. The words will give me wings. I'll fly back to the masters as a bird. Time to stop rising now. Time to do it. It's very, very, very high, though. Right, viewpoint. Is there a dead man down here? Because that would make that... Oh, I got two more skill points. That was quick. Right, lovely. I guess we should inve invest in some stuff. Some stun, and also some poison. And there we go, why not? Love that one. Now, let's have a look at the multiple quests we've accepted, because of course. Ugh. Find the cauldron's trail. Let's do this. I presume this is that tree, right? Yeah. And the complaint I have with the game is the crashing. I have a few complaints. The crashing is certainly up there. Um... Yeah, it is. Leave no corpses. Return to Earth when they die. Back to the tilth they came from. What happened to the cauldron? It it died and cried. Die, bird. I need to find some rations. There's just none. There just aren't any. This card bears the sign of Agit. I'm. Um, Come on, surely there's got to be some somewhere in this in this world. Something huge was dragged this way. I'm sure I'll find some in a bit. The was dark, so the cart would break a wheel. This was an ambush. If it was Agia's cauldron, they 
dragged through here. It must be large indeed. Maybe these are ours, right? Which direction would they drag it through? That one. Alright. Let's go. Oh, I found some rations. Yay, they do exist. And there's more. It's like Christmas has come early. Right, that's my Christmas dinner. Just shrooms. I thought it crashed then. Had a frame drop. It always gives me the shits. I just had the fucking funniest bug earlier. Went back to where Abel's parents died in Norway and it's just fucking Varun just there glitched. Please tell me you've recorded it. If you have, send it my way and I'll put it into that glitch montage I've been talking about. Because I've got about six, seven minutes worth. Um, yeah, shot him with an arrow and then he started running. It was so stupid. Oh, God. I'm uploading it to YouTube. All right, well, be sure to pop me a link, and of course, if you want me to include it in that montage, just let me know. I can't do it without your permission, though. That's that's not that's not on. Uh, but that's that's another one. I love a good I love a good Val I love a good Valhalla um, glitch. There's just so many. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I look forward to seeing this glitch. Yeah, for sure you can put it in. I appreciate that, man. It'd be great. It's gonna be it's gonna be an amusing video because the glitches are just amusing. They're just funny. The mitten of the great Yotum screamed dropped here long ago. Oh, this is an entrance. Is Bit of Vaihaya. Is it Vaihaya? Vaihaya? I don't know, how does he say it? Hidden 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 bied. I can't really see anything in here, can I? That was cool. That was really cool. It looks... Looks a bit like somebody's vaped into someone else's asshole, And that's fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's something below here. Ah. I sent you on the Twitter DMs. I appreciate it. We're going to have a look at that, actually. I have to see this myself. I'm genuinely curious, man. Sent a link. Okay. Let me have a look at this. Okay. Where? <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's just Eivor's dad. Chilling in a cave. Wasn't dead this entire time. Just chilling in a cave vacant. <laughs> ah, these are. Ah, there's some rations here. Hidden blade time. Stab. I love how I keep clipping through these whenever I try to use them. I don't know why why that happens, but Eivor just grabs them, flings himself through it, and then comes out, and it's so weird. Best glitch I've fucking had. Uh, I've had some similar... I've had some odd glitches. One one glitch I know you've had, which I had as well, is if you accidentally pause the menu... Uh, well, if you pause the game while talking to... Uh, I forget what his name is, um, in the East Anglia arc. It'll say no map available, and then when you come out, it'll, you'll just be, like, in the skybox, and it, you'll just fly down back to the cutscene. That one I've had. Um, another one that I've had that was really funny is um, useless people trying to open stuff in raids, where sometimes they won't show up at all, and other times they'll, they'll be, like, clipping through it. And sometimes they won't come up and they won't help you at all. They'll come up to you and be like, I need help over here, and then they'll leave. That's another one that I found really funny. Um, Able having a moment is another funny one that I really enjoy. Right, just having a moment of pure, pure jumping about. Well, it's where, it's where it's sort of like looks like he's having a bit of a seizure moment. It appears as if somebody's got some. 
Oh my god, that is a big thing. Right, I'm coming for you, sir. Ow. Ah, that was, that was, that was disappointing. See what you've done? You made me waste some rations. Why do you have to have a massive spear, though? You know what? That it. Have this back. Where'd you even come from? <laughs> this man just fell from the ceiling. He fell from the ceiling and shouted, There's no use running. Oh, he must have jumped from there. Oh, that is weird. There's no use running. If a man falls from the sky and says there's no use running, I know he's telling the truth. The game can be unity level broken at times. The amount of crashes I've had as well. That's the that's the that's the bit that I think um that's the bit where it becomes annoying because on PC for example it crashes a lot. Um it's like Skyrim level crashes. And I don't If you can make me think about Skyrim in more ways than just Norse mythology, then there's something wrong with the game. <laughs> And it, it does. It's, it's a broken experience. It's funny, but it's broken. Very broken. Air assassinate, please. There we go. Wasn't too difficult, was it, sir? No. Not at all. Your more crashed in castle assault. So weird. For me, it'll crash mostly in cutscenes um, on PC. Um... When they usually cut scenes that are a bit more than dot conversation, it'll just sort of like crash, and I don't understand why. And then I'll look into it and I'll be like, oh, well, this has caused a fix. And then it'll fix for a bit, and then, then the issue will come back. And you'll have hours upon hours of smooth sailing, and then you'll just be met by an hour worth of about 10 crashes. And I'll be like, okay. Well, listen, I'm a big man. You're a bigger man. We can both. Take a kick to the nudges and die. I I love that that must hurt. Yes, right. I, I, I've been here. Are they respawning on me? Well, I'm, because that'll be annoying while I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. I feel like... What the... F hang on. What? Okay, this place is genuinely very confusing. I guess we have to go back through. I wish they'd release a patch. It's been two weeks. I mean, come on. With a, with a game like this, you've got to give us some time. Give us more time with the game utterly fucked. Because it's funny. It's funny to have a game so utterly fucked. Um, oh, for fuck's sake. There's no use running, right? There we go. I've just chefed that man's arm off. Where'd you come from? I'd love to know where these enemies are coming from. They're just showing up. Decapitate the boy. Ah, right. Oh, there's a bit to slide under here. Too big to carry. They 
Things are not always as they seem in Jotunheim. The cold for the spurs fall. I'm getting the measure of these illusions. This cauldron should be enough to win Sutukur's favor. I could go to Utgarda now, but a gift for Kunlona would improve my chances at getting the meat. I see I can only pull this back and forth. I see what it wants me to do. I think, anyhow, if I can push it further, that'd be, yeah, that'd be something. I need to push it further than that. I need it to be right up against the tree. There's really no use running anymore. See what I mean by that as well, that, that little clipping thing there. Every time. Not quite every time, but most times. What's in the chest? An Ema's bloodstone that I'll never have a use of. At least I can't imagine I will. One glitch I've had in uh, Jotunheim is every time you fast... I've, I, if I reload or if I fast travel, I get the vibe that um, I'm going to be drunk. I'll do my best to prove it in a minute. Don't you worry. Do, 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 do. To find the exit. They call me a god of drunkenness. Game is bloodstone is for offerings. It is indeed. But will I will I be around for enough time to get enough to do any offerings in this area? Is the question. Now how do I leave? I'm looking for the aesthetic of somebody vaping into a sore asshole. Come on. Why does it say Jutenheim or something? I don't know the spelling. I know this is AC. I've got a war. I don't know. I I genuinely don't know why they did. Why that? Why this needs to be a part of Assassin's Creed? But here we are. Um, now how do I get out? Is all I'm trying to do is leave. I'm doing my best to get out here. Oh my god, there's there's you. You're gonna die. Anyone else want to be dead for a third time? Gentlemen. I can't reach that, that's risky. You know when you can't reach something. You probably will be able to reach it in Brotherhood or whatever. But in this, you know that you're just better off not trying. It's just so confusing. How does one abscond? There we go. That happened again. Lovely. I don't know the escape. Trying to figure out how to leave. I don't know, this is so weird. Where's 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 the the fucking way out? Should I be oh hello, what's that? Yeah, that doesn't do. That just drops a chandelier on people if anyone's there. But it would be cool if I could drop a chandelier on an exit. There's a squirrel that you can fly to with. All right, cheers, man. I'm sure I'll go and fly with that squirrel when it comes to it. Right now, I'm currently trying to find an exit. Maybe it's this wall. Maybe there's something about it. I've de I've decided that this I I can never leave. 
Is there at least an interior map of this place? Because it would be good if there was, you know what I mean? Because I can't exactly fast travel. Oh, I can fast travel out of here. Holy shit. I didn't think you could fast travel out of restricted areas. Some, most of the time you can't. But that in that case, I could. That was rather useful. I will admit. Ah, yes. I forget I have an elk. I can ride about on the back of an elk. Because, of course, I can. I'm looking for... Those death pigs need to fuck off. It's like, I mean, anywhere you go, the murder pigs just want to speak with you. No, no murder pigs. I've had enough of you today. I'm going to go down here. Mm. Again, with... I found a flighting match. Everyone else can fuck off. Right. Ah. Naturally, you know what I mean? Look who it is. None but the high one. Ratatusk the tree rat. What message do you carry today? received a new message just this morning. It says, Ratatosk is this girl who here shall run on the air tree if Brazil. And the high one is he who will be crushed underneath my flighting skill. What say you, high one? I'll take you on, squirrel. I will take you on, squirrel. Say when. Good. Let's begin. I'm a messenger and I have got a word here from up on high. You'll be slain and undone by my cutting wit. As a warrior born, I am unafraid to die. <laughs> you are no good. Do I this call? I am named for the way I fight at the bark of this world tree. But they ought to call me nice tongue for words so sharp. Um. I will best you at flighting, I swear you'll see. Your failure delights me. I don't understand how this but squirrel is pasting me at flighting. I grow weary of your squeak. That was almost good. I knew you were no match for me. Hail the new squirrel, father. Well, let's flight it again. Chiron, return. This time, I'm ready. Let's begin. I'm a messenger born, and I have got a word here from up on high. You'll be slain and undone by my cutting wit. I should like to see you try. Drill two. I am named by the way I fight at the bark of this world tree. But they ought to call me nice tongue for words so sharp. I will best you at flighting, I swear you'll see. Your failure delights me. I feel oh. mostly in gossip, but here say true. Hearken to the words I speak. You are a fat headed fool and a puny god. And I grow weary of your. I'll try this again. I grow weary of your squeak. That was almost good. Ratatusk is the squirrel who here shall run on the ash tree Yggdrasil. Though he fought with some fury and did his best, it was Harvey got the kill. You did better than I thought. Now leave this place before I bite. 
Sorry, I just had to defeat the squirrel. That's all that mattered to me. I don't need that charisma from fighting with a fucking squirrel. I mean, I get why, but this is Assassin's Creed. And I've just entered a rap battle with a squirrel, basically. For lack of for lack of more finesse in the explanation. Um, can you, like, fuck off and... Yeah. Fine, actually. If you insist. There you go. I need your eyes, my friend. Until I'm looking at it, it doesn't show me. That area. Mark it. All right, let's get a move on. Flighting with a squirrel? Hmm. Yeah, no, that's that's Assassin's Creed. No, how did you detect that? Just because your fucking cat detected me, man. Oh, your cat is your friend. That makes much more sense. Fuck off, bear dickhead. How big do these cats need health bars need to be? Oh, blimey, man! I guess they're magical things. They can take a, they can take a few chef in. I'm out of arrows. That didn't take long at all. Can one of you, like, at least just stop being such a pain in the ass? There you go, die in cat form. As I hack the ground to death next to you. Have a swim. Well, that individual swims. I'm going to change my bow. <sighs> this took far too long. I suppose that's the house, is it? I mean, it's got to be. Let's have a swim. There's something in here of value, anyhow. Hello, everybody, it's me. Cold enough to freeze the breath in your body. It's not quite how it works. Maybe this will... Oh no. Loki often tells the tale of how Thrymia stole Thor's hammer. It seems his account of Thor's rage was no exaggeration. Hastily scribble note, the god of thunder is among us. The Jotnar Slayer has his hammer in hand. He came veiled and in wedding garb, and Therm, blinded by lust, believed him to be Freya of the Aesir. But when he threw off his veil and seized Mjolnir, I ran. I hear him killing now. I hear the cries of my brothers and sisters. I have locked myself in, but no lock will stand up to that hammer. I can't get out. He is coming. I cannot get out. Oh, wow. He absolutely went mental, did he? He, he just ripped... 
It has wrecked this place and everyone in it, ruining their days. Th Thrim's chest key. Is this the chest down here? Ah, yeah. I found a bloodstone thing. Cool. If I ever amass enough to place an offering, I guess I could. That should have us ranked up a couple of skill points. Lovely. Skills. What level are we now? We're power level 179. We're going to be power rating, sorry, uh, 180 and then 181. And yeah. I don't know. I don't want to really set any goals for, for any one stream, but I reckon we've got time today. I've, I did have plans for, for the day and those plans sort of fell through. So I, yeah, no, I want to, I want to see if we can get a, we can get up, we can get through a bit of the game in this stream. Uh, a little bit anyhow as much as I can bloody hack in one sitting it is hard work I don't really want to burn myself out with a charity stream in the in the pipeline but uh, I reckon we can get up to at least well I want to get power rating 200 done today really is what I'm trying to say up able fucking up there Eivor, please. It's not that difficult to climb up. This is the only wall you refuse to climb in the entire fucking game. See what I mean? How is this difficult? Right, okay. It's very obvious that I need to swim it. If there's somewhere to swim, that is. Oh, there is somewhere to swim. Right, let's go. What's the match power level? Isn't it 490? I have no clue. I think it's probably... I mean, I've never got that stupidly high, but we'll figure it out soon. I presume it'll be with the DLC and stuff, like 500. Right. Now, did that have... Okay, that I think we did that quest, right? Yeah, we just have a feast to remember now. But there's a viewpoint over there that's that we can go to first. I guess. We'll be gentle at this point. Cool. It's a town thing. Oh, look, legit people here. Ah, not legit people, blue people. Ow, that hurt a little bit, I'll be honest. Ow, that hurt even more. Get out of the way. I'm just slicing a man's face off. That man did not need his face. That's that's all I have to say. The man didn't need his mug, and I, I relieved him of it. I relieved him of it. I, I removed his head from his shoulders. Is that Santa Claus? And I wonder he stopped existing. <laughs> These blue people hogging the Christmas spirit. Right, I need to climb that because it looks like fun. Is there any chance you could, like, just fuck off? There we go. Much more like it.
do 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 climbing big big structures I need to get to that viewpoint I feel like this is taking too much time but I need to do it because otherwise I'll be sad Apparently I can't climb there. There's nothing to climb. I find it really weird how um, you can climb any surface um, on most things. But then when it's something you actually want to climb. No, you have to go a set route. And only then. You got geezers. It's me. That took far too fucking long. Stab him in his mouth. No sense trying to change fate. What counts is how you face it. Fuck. There's more to climb. There's always something else to climb. Really? I'm starting to realise that you can't climb very much. Alright. It is weird how you can climb almost anything that isn't important, but then when it becomes something that is. So, uh, yeah, but, hmm. Hey, may, maybe go with the actual route we set. I don't mind that, provided everything had a... Provided everything was like this, where you have to climb it um, in specific ways, really. It just gives you that sense of direction. Maybe I'm being silly, and maybe this is more common than I think. I think it is more common. But, you know what I mean. I believe we have arrived in a... Oh. What trickery is this? In the Tomfoolery has occurred. Well, pots have been smashed. As vids observations, entry 211. My experiments have been a disaster so far, but I shall not surrender myself to failure. The future of Jotunheim is in my hands. I need Ema's blood to progress further, but how do I get it? Through those stones, right? Bit of Ema's bloodstones. Oh, there's a staircase there. Oh, it's gone as again. Lovely. I see the trickery here is intense. You know what? I like that. It's like, it confuses you a little bit. It makes this a bit more unique as a climb. What's this? Asvid observations, entry 219. If I succeed in my task, this barren land might grow crops in abundance. No more children need starve, no more raiders go to war for things we lack. Think of it, Josenheim in bloom. That gate was not there before. Well, how do we know? We weren't up here before. There's only one thing that matters to me, and that's getting to the top of this thing now. I see that that had limited point. Or did it? Mm. It's that clipping through the thing that I find really funny. That's about as close as it's going to get. 
Come on. Oh, there we go. Much more like it. Demon's Bloodstone. As with observations, entry 343. No, 345. Finally, the experiment is a success. It was Ema's blood I needed all along. But that is a rare resource and too valuable to spread about. How can I replicate this with simpler reagents? With a massive cock, I guess. I don't know. I was hoping that the doorway would open up here, but no, I just need to climb. I just need to get to the top of this viewpoint. I don't think it has any other value. There we go. That's a bit of classic Assassin's Creed. Climb about on the outside. Yeah, I missed that feeling. Good on you, Valhalla. You've done... You've done plenty of good for Assassin's Creed, I think. And this is another example of that. This tower specifically. <laughs> I'm, I've just been enjoying climbing this tower as fucking confusing as it's been. Because it's... It, I guess it's unique to this, this, this area, really, where, you know, there's illusions going on. And you need to figure it out on the way up. And then you get to the top and it's really neat. And there you go. Climbing the Otomon's pretty shitty, you can climb in the Grey Wards, but there is a small spot that's not on top, although you can't climb up. Ah, what a shame. I mean, climbing could... I mean, it's a bit weird how you can climb just about every anything in the, the actual, like, like, in England and Norway and stuff. But here you can't, because it suits the narrative, I guess. I don't know, it suits the story. It suits the purpose of the structure of what they're doing. And I feel like that inconsistency is annoying, but, um, but for the premise of... It feels a, it feels nice to know that. Well, there's there's certainly some Assassin's Creed feeling to the climbing there. I guess that's something. We're s okay. Let's just get going. That was a good drop. And there's a chest down here with a blood sign in it. As for its observations, entry 401. Those drops of Ema's blood were not mine to take, and those who owned it are hunting for me. I knew this day would come, but it had sooner... Well, it has come sooner than I thought. Shut up. Shut, shut up, Eivor. I have uh, hoped. I had hoped I could show them. They will not find this tower. I will leave and lead them away. Please, whoever finds this, use what blood remains. Continue my research. Bring flour to our land. Ah... Uh. Gaming. There we go. And now we need to go and speak to Sutunga, and I'll be really annoyed if he says, Climb this tower. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was the longest tower climb I've ever done in my life. I think. Kill you again. Loot whatever's in that bag. It's an interesting place to find a single arrow in a bag. Abel, please. Just descend properly, Abel, please. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I saved myself. And there's a haystack there, but from the top it didn't look like it was in a good spot. Show me what lies ahead. 
There's a key up there. Well, that key will be mine now. Oh, I can't climb that. Disappointing. In a minute, I'll find something I can climb to acquire my key. Oh, a ladder. Ah, that's what the key. I I I believe I found the point of the key. It was a rare one, but we've discovered that the key has indeed got a purpose. Got it. Right. Now, what's it say? Oh, you need another key. <laughs> no, it's fine. I found another bloodstone. I'm sure I'll have use of these bloodstones eventually. And if I don't, it was good getting them while I could. I mean... You are a big fucking man. <laughs> you are small to my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great in deeds. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard. And I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me. But what could mighty Sotunga want as a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron. Stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much deeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast. I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunnloda. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast, if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, Within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence, but you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunnlother is different from you and I. Okay. Find and speak to Gunlodder. Why did he just... I thought he just walked straight over the fire then. I was really confused. Look. He's a big fucking man. Look at him. We like him. Look at the size of this bloke. He could shit out me. He doesn't even have any eyes, really. He has... Yeah, that's... Ah. Can, why did it lock onto him, then? Whatever. I love how overpowered that can be. The grotto is within the stone buildings of what? Oh, it's down here. Grotto? I mean, that's as good a shot as any. It's a big bloke. What's, what what conversations are going on in chat? I want to know. Go see Cyberpunk 2077's latest tweet. What is it? What's the latest tweet? Please tell me. I'm going to actually have a look now. Because uh, whenever someone says, check the Cyberpunk Twitter, I panic. Um, with That it won't be funny enough. Read about copyright issues. Um, 
when recording Cyberpunk, don't be. We've prepared a feature for all copyright create uh, for content creators. Disable copyright music. Just toggle it and you'll be ready to go. That that's cool. Living weapon. There's nothing on here that's really that intriguing. I'll be honest. It's just oh, we can turn off it's copyrighted co music and not get claims while streaming. That is incredible. But I knew that already. I remember Hamid linked me a tweet of the yellow template and I had a heart attack. You know, it's really funny. This puzzle business. This, I'll be honest, this puzzle business is going to get tiresome. The right, okay, first, first things first, let's clear all the markers. Now, here we are, we're in the lands. Hmm. Leave from Gunloader's diary. I say Carla and Vinda are away again. What persistent oafs they are, impervious to logic and sense. The more I dissuade them, the harder they try. As if I would let either of them pour at me as they desire to. The very idea is not only repulsive, but boring. I have many more important things to do than marry. Uh, okay, that sounds like fun. Love you, Ethan. No homo. I don't watch Ubisoft videos. Cool. Oh, there's loads of notes about here. Ah, oh, you're just standing around, not even gonna come greet me. What is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures, but every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. Okay. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility waiting for unknown ears many ages hence. What do they say? What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, prophet? Can you hear me? If before we continue, it'd be really funny if the prophet is just and it's just Rodrigo Bush going, "I am the prophet." I know, really, oh I'd just be weird. Perhaps another day, another thread. Come, we must not keep father waiting. Why is Avil called Javi here? It's another word for. It's another name for Odin, isn't it? High one. Is it canon that Odin fucked Minerva? I have no clue. Who are you? Hmm. It actually did respond. Winter's knife cuts deep and sky pearls fall thick in this land. It, it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Uh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I have heard there's one method still untested. There is, but... To activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least. And I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all your people? We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. 
I had all but forgot. Did you go to Vinland yet? Yes, I did. It was a lovely time. The vault, wherein our greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. Ah, oh, okay. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. It's really quite quite a strong light. It's really intense. I'm really glad that it's over. That was painful. For so long we made magics there in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon we will knock it down. Generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutungur. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment. Enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Okay. Now we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. I am Harvey. Deft of tongue and quick of wits, here to spin you a tale. Your stories are wasted on them. They respect deeds, not hollow talk. You are all brothers and sisters to me. Do not be too familiar. Jotnar are slow to trust. I offer a toast to Great Sutunga. They do not love me as much as they love to feast. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Well, that could have gone better. Let the feast begin. Drinking, good mother. I do not care for it. 
Drink is the harem that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sends from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. It is ale, of course. A child could have solved that one. <clears throat> Would you like another? Yes. All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. Um. River. A river has a mouth. And sometimes flows on gold. A good try, but the river's kiss is soft. It is a hammer. Oh no. One more? Yes. I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. One more time. White haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Hmm. Oh, the no. It can only be swans and eggs. Very clever hobby. Yes. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? I feel a little better. You are kind to attend to me, hobby. Most have given up trying. Alright, well. Let's convince some guests into some gaming. Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing round us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Thralls, humans killed in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. Come, give it that I should try the archery contest. Doubt they will toast my prowess if I succeed. What's the worst that can happen? Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings off a wall. Ah, but can you do it while mead addled? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Okay, I love how this guy's just got a dead fox on him. It's not even like a skin or anything, it's just a full dead Show fox. They take a drink and let fly. Come, give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot let us my hope brother you hold in your the beer head. better than you What's hold this the to empty that cauldron. Then Sutunga will open his vault. Try another. You look a bit wobbly there. Careful! Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. You look a bit wobbly there. Careful! Done. You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. My belly roils like a knot of eels, and I see three of you. 
I think I should walk this off. He's off to walk it off by just standing around, I guess. He's off to loiter it off. Why not? Must we our enemies now? show us your might. Beat the champion, and we will drain our horns in your honor. Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do not mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. Let, let me out. Right, if let's she's do it. truly your champion, then so be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. Now she's going to kick the shit out of me. What? Oh, God. Oh, God. She is actually going to sh get the shit out of me. Ow. There we go. Indeed, you are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy. The mead is half gone. The Aegir's cauldron can be drained. I want to go. Get your grubby paws off my arm. My turn. My turn. You Children. You that harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this harp? Go dive in that meat. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. Not you too. You'll break the strings with your sausage fingers. <laughs> Bet they won't do it. How many broken bones you think? Fifty at least. Maybe a A little bit wankered. There. Now give back the harp so the musicians may play. Umias Harry Balls. That was amazing. You must be half raven. Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? Nobody's ever beaten the champion. Drink in the name of Harvey! You, there. No guests in the kitchen. Out! Sirs, I found your harp thing. Did I pick up the harp? Did I even pick up the harp? I'm sure I did. What can I do to get them to drink faster? The children have disappeared. There are the children. Can I not return this boy's harp? How do I sneak on past this dickhead? Hello everybody, I've fallen What's that?
I'm a bit confused by what the game wants me to do now. Oh. Not awfully convinced this has much relevance, but we'll give it a go. Have a key. No, oh, I don't even need a key. It's fine. Well, no, this was completely irrelevant, and now I'm very confused. <laughs> Maybe I'll just need to swim in the ale for a bit. I don't know. Is that the new Hadadu and the Chayet? Hadadu and the Chayet. Why is the hood always up in here? Find someone who... Hello. Mighty friend to the Asid. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf, and after that bloody business with Humir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. Lovely. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? Loki? Not me, friend. My name is Thok. Uh, forgive me. I, I thought you were someone else. Too much drink? In too little time. The cure for that is sleep. Is that Loki there? Surely he would not dare. Is there any sweeter music than the clash? Well, it looks like, sounds like, he's just in disguise. He's not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? Have a drink myself, why not? The cauldron is empty. I should tell Sutunga. Well, that was a fascinating one. Big man! Great Sutunga, your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible, Gunnar. Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish, I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunga is less than generous. None will be capable. Find and get the mead. Right. Okay. I presume I'd oh a bit of a bit of world design for parkour, you can't beat it. If only we weren't in magical fantasy land. That does sort of turn it on its head a little bit. I'll tell you what, I do actually need to 
to go to the bathroom real quickly. So I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Be sure to share the stream and all that wonderful stuff. And let's get the likes up, of course. I'll be back in a moment. Don't, don't worry. I shan't be long. And I'm back. Right, how's everyone doing? Um, uh, lads, what's this? Sorry, uh, Odin is fucking filthy. Make the Odins drink his bath ale. Imagine, imagine bathing in ale. That doesn't sound pleasant, but okay, here we are. Imagine somebody trying to drown you in ale. Oh, Finally. oh no. I guess, have I done all this to violate the guy's trust? Because I like this guy. I don't want to violate this poor man's trust. And that was definitely Loki before. Right. Hadi? I, I heard the noise and... What are you doing here? Uh... Going to stand to bring you a gift. I uh, wanted to speak with you away from the others. I, I brought you something, a gift. For me? Thank you, but why? Fate, Gunnlodda. We are helpless to escape it. We were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nordnir spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There's perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift, your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attend. I will show you all you need to know. <laughs> Harvey manipulating her to get some schmexy time. That's exactly what's going on. Okay. Oh, I knocked her out. Okay. Or maybe she just kept. Whatever. Find and get to the mead. To the mead! I presume it'll be right at the... As far in as I can go. I mean, if I told her to get out of my way, would I have to fight her? And if 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 that's the case, then will I still have to fight her just later? Okay. 
Okay. I'm looking for mead. Enough mead to make my ass bleed. None can say that Eivor isn't willing to go as far as n as far as necessary to uh, to achieve what Eivor wants, because we just slept with the giant. Because of course we did. Why wouldn't we? This horn looks a bit like it. And someone's behind us. No? Hurricane has promised answers of the well of Mimir. I certainly do need to leave this vault. I get the vibe it's not gonna be simple, this one. It's gonna be we leave, something triggers, no. Yep. Thought so. I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Zutungor, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death. You're not going anywhere. Okay, I think I just... Ow. Be great if I had a bit more space to maneuver around here, but I don't. All I have. You would gamble with uncountable lives. How do I take cover here? Also, I'm out of stamina for fuck's sake. That elbow, really. Need to get out of this. Find the belly there. Now we stun attack him. Climb onto his. There we go. To suffer one such as you. Oh no. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. That. Ah, oh, bloody hell. What have you done with my daughter? You already asked that. Genuinely, I don't know myself. I'm really struggling to figure out. I think it's the lock on that's causing me problems here. Get out of the fucking. Come on! Okay, now I need to change my arrow. Well, my bow. To the. Uh... You would gamble with. 
Come on. Game. This isn't good. Well, now I'm a bit at a loss for um, any, well, anything really. My my health is shit, and I've lost all my 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 uh, rations. Right, let's improve the health and beard adapt. Another one there. There we go. One eight five. Not bad. Let's find some. Hopefully, there's some rations on the way. Because otherwise, I'm gonna be honest, I'm in trouble. The price of wisdom. <gasps> Die, chicken. The chicken is. Die, chicken. This is definitely the slipperiest chicken of the lot. I don't think that that big man thought through the fact that I had to kill chickens. Big man that Sutonga was. Maybe a bit too big of a man for for uh, for good old not so big man here. He was a large dude. He really was. At least now we have one full health bar. Everyone, I am new here. No one wants me here. If that's what you, if that's what you believe, nobody can change that. But you just arrived. Maybe, maybe relax. Uh, surgery in 14 days. It's a cleft palate surgery. Sounds fun. No, we do not need a, a rock bear. We don't need to fight a rock bear that's power level 400. We fucking don't. That is just something I'm not willing to do.
Fine, what the fuck, bro? Oh, yeah, sorry. No, I was completely on a different planet. Good luck with your surgery. Another cutscene. I sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare show your face. Oathbreaker, I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. And Sutunga, what of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Asir. Vanir, for all of Asgard. But not for Jotnar. Not for me. You let the Jotnar into Asgard. So many dead, all so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. Release him, Harvey. Release Fenrir, or I swear, I will kill you, here and now. You are out of favors, Trixer. And you are welcome to try. Can I at least gather some shit before I fight Loki? Oh, for God's sake. I just want to get some mushrooms. Why wait till Ragnarok when you can die now? Curse you, Loki. We were like brothers once. You might be the strongest, but I was ever the truest one. Let's see if you fight as well as you lie. Oh, God. I'm out of arrows already. I don't enjoy being out of arrows, and I also... Oh, I'm out of arrows here too? Whatever. That bow is not good here. No, that bow is completely useless, and I've done no damage to Loki here. You meant to have me killed. I will never forgive that. When my son is loosed with bondage, he will ravage all of Asgard. He's regenerate he's regenerating health. I do need to actually find it. I don't know which bow I had equipped before. N neither has arrows. That's right. You meant to have me killed. I will never forgive that. He's in an orb. What am I supposed to do when he's in the orb? Come on, do something. Come on, Loki, that's enough running about like a lunatic and just actually fight. I will feed your corp. Are you finished? 
curse you, Arby. Your own distrust has undone you. Now go. And do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over. This turn into a fish and dipped. Feel great. He's got a point when he says the game is never over. This game is a long one. And there we go. I've got, I've, I've got all the resources. Well, all the uh, rations I need to continue. Do I have any? Where am, where am I up to with skills? 185. Cool. Does Avor ever go to the toilet? Does any game character or action hero go to the toilet? This looks like a, this, another boss fight area. I'm getting tired of these boss fights, man. Please don't be another boss the fight area. Abilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Speaking with someone? Oh my god. I'm sure I've heard th those words do before. I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. For once you drink, your hugur will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. Oh. Why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. Remain and remember. Wait, hang on. Is this Blue Lady Juno? Give me your counsel. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the Asi. To remember you, it must know you. To render a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world's fit. Only then will you have that. You decide. Sitting here is Jupiter. Oh. It's fascinating. I've seen the price of wisdom. You yourself have lost much for wisdom. Beheaded by those who did not value your learning. My Hugur is here. That is all that matters. I have learned to live incomplete. As will you. And if I make this sacrifice, what then? While death and ruin rage all around, the world free will keep you. Your body will die, but your hugur will live on here. In time, you will be born anew, into a new world, birthed from the ashes of the old. Do you vouch for this strangeness? I must believe it, for there is one I love dearly who depends upon it. Aita. And there is no other way. None. It seems I have no choice. You never did. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would give all that and more. Crikey.
<laughs> what the fuck happened to his head? <laughs> You, what is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungar and Gunlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the nine worlds. What are they to you? We ruled together for a time, a noble triad, as father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse, so they locked it away and banished me from Utgarder. By your efforts, you have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband. He made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this mead, I may undo old sorrows. Do as you will. I've had my fill of this cursed realm. Bright mind, heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again. Ah, Saga of the Nars. Now to Asgard to save my people. Cool. Leave Jotunheim. Peak. Well, that was something. The game isn't bad in any in any capacity. It's just yeah, it's just a bit unpolished. But no, I've just figured out that that lady was Juno. I think the voice did it, but it was very obvious. I think. Um, I think they were trying to make it obvious with what she was saying uh, when she had the apple in her hands. That's what. Juno says on in the apple that uh that what what's his name that he was he was olden wasn't it I'm sure it was Gorm Kjotvison was holding an apple like speak to me and then something like that was said it's starting to make sense everybody what, did you pay 60 bucks for this on your new console? Yeah, why not? My game holds up to its value, no worries. Gives you plenty of entertainment. Gives you plenty of hours to sink in and enjoy. Go to the quest objective and leave Jotunheim. Ideally, forever. As cool as this place is, I don't have much interest in spending more time here than I have to. You know what I mean? King Snortington, Dimmon. No, I'm being attacked by a boar again. Leave Jotunheim. Let's go. Get out of combat. Let me travel to fucking Midgard, please. Quickly, we'll save. Travel. His depth perception will be buggered. You don't need depth perception if you're an assassin. Come, 
settle your mind and tell me what you have seen. Strange things, Falka. I'm learning much and seeing more than my mind can understand. Go on. In Jotunheim, I sought and found a mead of incredible power. It promised me a strange effect. To drink it would deliver me from death. Shield me from the destruction of Ragnarok. By this mead, I hope to live beyond my own death, well into the future. Fascinating. Was that your final vision? They have not ended, not yet. Something compels me to return to Asgard. The elixir is ready when you are. Okay. I guess we can just... Oh, we've got some skill points there. I guess we can invest in... Oh, we can invest in skills. Why not? Uh, I presume we can just head back to Asgard. Failed sipping animation. It looks a bit like something's kicked off here. The Nordney told me you'd be here. The cord is forged. Gleipnir, I call it. I'll wager there's a good story behind that wound. A tale for another time. Thank you for this. When you bind the beast, spare no loose ends. The cord will stretch or shrink to fit your needs. How tightly will it hold? The beast may resist. The more you tighten the cord, the stronger it will hold and the greater it will hurt. Till the beast is rooted to the ground. Thank you, Ivaldi. You may go. You mean from Asgard, do you not? My debt to you is paid in full? Yes. As promised. Thank you, Harvey. I, uh, I did not expect you to remember. Where will you go next? Under the mountains of Svartalpheim. Our mountains. To free the Earth's riches. But this is what I know best. Okay, now... Where are we in the inventory? What can we upgrade? Can we upgrade anything that we've got equipped? I guess we can. I need to upgrade these at uh, the blacksmith, really. Also, while we're at it, why am I, why am I, why am I done in these still? What, what am I doing? That's more like it. What power rating does it want me to be for this area? I guess it. I guess it. Oh, power level ninety is what it what it's suggesting for this. I guess. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine doing this. No worries. It's just if you try to do it at a lower power rating, you might just snooky yourself and be fucked. This is another vision of. Yeah, this is another vision. Eivor's eye isn't gone, but. Our gamer friends is die squirrel.
You ready for a swim? Let's go. This is the this is the strangest boat of the lot, but here we go. Ava falls asleep in the hunter armor but wakes up in a different set. Yeah, well. Valka gets up to some nonsense in that room. Our boats were really made. The invention of the boat. Here we are. I think it worked. So was Jupiter and Asgard. Jupiter was, uh, what's his name? The big man. In uh, Jotunheim. I just killed the squirrel with an axe. Shouldn't be possible, but it is. There's a lot of squirrels just... Yeah. Like I acquire leather. Do I keep this leather in the... Uh... How, do, how does one wake up with more leather than exists? Nova. No clue. That's the dog kicking off downstairs. I would love to know why. But here you are. Harvey, you're a bomb to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start, it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir to fear him. A beacon, that is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Loki tell you? He did. It is a fine name. Yes, Dweller of the Fence. An apt name for his current fate. Where is the Fenrir, Fenrir. sir? A good word has come. This can't be good. <laughs> I'm a big angry I dog. Well, great wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The ice here worry. About your growing size and strength. And what do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves, a beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this. And you may live and thrive in Asgard, 
Without worry. Oh, I smell something sour. Wear the color. A return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki. Have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. <laughs> Be swift, Harvey. Well, okay. It burns. Harvey? Nice. Unbind him! Harvey! Here you stay, Fentweather. So much for keeping his arm. Here you die. Deceiver. Oh, fuck. Fucking hell. Speak in riddles. The home of the gods turns red. Red with gold. I didn't expect him to have that much higher power level. Look at that. I've done nothing to him. I've done no damage whatsoever to this man. There's massive wolf. Yep, yeah, no, this is not good. This cannot possibly be good. There's no way this can end well for me. There's no indication that this would be that power rating at all. Is there? None at all. Put on easy if I were you. As much as... I mean, I could. We'll have to see. On easy, the power rating doesn't make a difference. But I don't want to have the game difficulty down on easy. Because that just ruins the point of not playing the game on easy. Stop rubbishing about like a maniac. The fuck happened there? That can't pop. Okay. Well, at least, at least the, we got a, a beautiful glitch out of that, right? We could be here for years, I've decided. <laughs> my, my special attacks don't even actually visibly chip away at his health bar.
I'm gonna ruin this fucker's day. I'm doing my best. This is quite terrifying. Why is he such a high level? Why was there no indication that he'd be such a stupidly high level? Wolf keeps appearing and disappearing. I've never known a wolf to be able to do this actually. While 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 we're talking about it. Oh my fuck! Legit, what am I supposed to do here? That was annoying. What was that? Well, I guess we'll leave and come back and do that later then. Because, I'm going to be honest, it clearly wants you to be a higher level to do it. That's fine by me. I'm not fussed. Uh, I mean, I could stick it on easy and then the, um, the power rating becomes completely irrelevant. Or I could come back and do it later. And feel rewarded for it. The choice, I guess, is mine on that one. And I think I made it. We're back in Ravensthorpe. The ends. Lovely. We should probably do some... We'll get our next conquest hey, going. My stable is a bit spared just now, but... Done. The PS5 trophies are quite satisfying when they unlock. That's nice. I always find trophies satisfying to unlock, and whose horse is this? It's like a naked horse. I found a naked horse. It has no clothes on. Uh, well, it has, it has no. It has no fur whatsoever. This is a naked horse. Why is there a naked horse here? A peltless horse. What? Okay. Hello, sir. How do you feel, Eivor? I would rather not talk about it. I understand. To the Alliance map. I want to see the Alliance map. Saddle. I do not mean saddle. I mean it had no fucking ver. Essex arc is pretty good. The Sussex arc is... Great. Lincolnshire, I like. Hang on, real sec. I have changed my. Um, hang on a sec. I know which one I want to do. I should go. Um, order. Where are you? Where are you based up? Lincolnshire. That's where we want to go. I want to see the alliance map. A good. Uh, yeah, Lincoln. Lincolnshire's a good arc. I like Lincolnshire. We'll do that. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you on a matter of great importance. He said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. Oh, right, great. I'll pledge, pledge to Lincolnshire. <sighs> Let's go. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. 
Protect my ears. What does that mean? Speak to Hunwald. Yo, right, lad. I have to go. I have to go. See you soon. Die, Dulce Fruamini. Whatever that means. Have a stone well. For all the good it will do. It's a stone well. It has no fucking purpose. Why build a well if it's not going to do well things? This is true happiness, isn't it, men? Life in the rough. You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skull to come to join us. Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no scald. No. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Cool. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your mead. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. Um, all here are great warriors. Every warrior in this clan deserves a song or saga, Lord. Why Eivor? Because his name alone dries the tongues of my enemies. If such a hero fought beside me, I'd fear nothing. What's your name, Lord? I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeorg, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That's a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. We can help you for something in return. It may be we can help you. But we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son, wrapped in his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. Ah, you are the chieftain here. I suspected as much. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of the shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the room. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that, I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. Okay, the lay of Hunwald. Right. Find and speak to Hunwald. He lives in Botolfs in a village in the northeast. I guess we head in that direction. 
and find the boy. Well, we can just go really close. We can go by this. Here we are, gamers. Let's get out of here. All right, Fishy, I'm going to bed. It's pretty late. Goodbye and good night. All right, take it easy, gamer. Must row in these waters. Bring the mask down. down. Raise the mask. I would raid, but I mean, do I, do I have, do, do I want to? Together with our parents, we attended a feast at the home of Halfdan the Black of the House of England. To toughen our patience, our parents set us with the old woman, who ordered us to bake flatbreads and serve it to the noble yard. After an hour, the flatbreads piled so hard to our feet off. There we go, Batolfston. Not bad at all. Of course it's a distrust area. Nobody ever trusts me. So this is Humboldt's safe haven. Though we be a Mercian Shire today, tomorrow the Kingdom of Lindsay will run. The stranger. Eivor, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Algar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me. One of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Good for him. Unvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Algar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Unvold. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Why is Alfgar here? Unbald, I don't know your friend here, and not knowing him, I don't trust him. I'm his voice of reason, Eivor. And I've told him a thousand times it's too dangerous for him in Lincolnshire. Listen. I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard! A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Algar. And here he'll prove it. Who's this bloke? I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in. Do not fuck with me. Have you ever seen a blood eagle, my Saxon friends? A what? A blood eagle. A 
a raw, magnificent bird I'll tear from your guts. First, I crush your ribs. Then I pull out your lungs and stretch them into wings, so you can fly to your heaven as fast as possible. Jesus fucking Eden. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. He'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written about man in history. Alfgar, the Burrish Nag of Lincolnshire. Peak. Told Hunmold to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Hunmold is in trouble. They call it. Off you go. Leave him be. Jesus, he's brought a bloody day. Oh, I have been struck down. Bruised within an inch of my life. But I will survive. The same life as the Silver Days Bayonus. There you go, Hanwald. I am alive. Heaven have mercy. Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Buttleston will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the Chairals and... Sorry about this, Hunwald. You're annoying as fuck and I have skills to invest in my skill tree, which is more important than your... than your driveling. Here we are. Uh, I like getting these. These are good. I'm making good progress. What cause have any to dishonor me? Well, it sounds a bit plenty. Look! Boats there! We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemies in our way. I presume you mean this what kind of boat, and not that kind of boat. Oh, scraps of I do actually I wonder if I can get if I can get Hunwald on the longship. Can! Rode me blindfolded to the river wash and told me plainly. Start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death, hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. Hang on, let's see if we can get a good screenshot. No, I suspect. What the fuck is going on with the photo mode? There we go. It's a bit more like it. I think I need it to do more like this. That seems like seems like the thing I'm trying to go for. Don't really need that much fog, just enough to give this. There you go. Why not? Order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. 
Perhaps you're right, he's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane lady love. Right. Here's Lincoln. The city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. I guess we have to swim. Well, there we are. Hunwald, where are you? Guards everywhere. Follow me. Right behind you, Shadow Walker. My heart beats like the drums of your dragon mount. Oh no, that didn't create a distraction, that just made them realise I exist. Ah. There I was trying to innovate. I don't even know how I caught fire there, there's nothing on fire. Besides from maybe something that I hit there. They love that. With me here. And that man just got benched to death. What the fuck? What's 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 Leia Frith doing here? Is that who that is? I need to go see what the fuck Leofrith is doing here. Never knew he showed up again. For fuck's sake. The fuck are you doing here? Do not get in my way, Eivor. This is something I need to do. This way you hear good. These tasks are so easy, I could do them myself. If I felt like it. They're always looking for help, so come back any time. What? <sighs> this is baffling, he's just here like, don't get in my way. I will find him, the coward king. Tomorrow or next year. And when I do, I will give him one long breath to plead his traitor's case. Okay. 
I don't understand why Lyafrith is here, but whatever. This town was your home? It was and should still be. And to see it now fills my eyes with tears. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside yet. One day I won't have to skulk up in this town with my face hidden. I will walk proudly among the people I love. Hello there, sir. Hunwald, praise God, you live. I do, my dear Reagan hair, body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Who took him away? Who took the Elderman? Was it soldiers or men of God? There were men with swords and those of the cloth. And a healer too. One who had oft been a guest in this house. Galwina. One of the sisters my father put great faith in. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Hmm. Okay, cool. Hunwald to the town hall. Let's go through the. Who was that fellow? Oh, Reagan. He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place, and he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt. I love there's a hole in the wall that nobody thinks to at least guard. Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread, poultry, and field fruits of all manner. I suppose this is where our servants purchased things. Lincoln's boon was ours as well. How often did you leave your house in Rome? Oh, from time to time. Yes. Oh my god, yeah, I could have just gone through that crowd. It's the big shield guys, that I, I just can't stand them because they're so fucking painful! Right. That's one. That's better. There we go, this time around it was easier. I'm getting used to him. Let's get up, Unwald. So much for social stealth. I'd say maybe killing people in this town. Yep, that's the way. You might have sent a messenger and spared us the suspense. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumoured dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumour that you were lost in the north, bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. Ah. 
I'm not the Dane he's been plowing, and I don't own a farm. I know you mean well, Bishop, but there's no cause to insult Swanborough's honor. You leave my lady love out of this. Ha, ah, your mystery Dane has a name. Sadly, the people of Fishai will hardly be comforted. Now that you have swelled your father's tolerance for pagans into a sin, I have no patience for insult and rumor. We have come to speak with Lord Hunbior, that is all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What storm? What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Hunwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against the Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This should imply benign intentions. If I meant you harm, you'd be dead already. If I meant to murder you, these stones would be slick with your gore already. Such violence. Good heavens. God must have purpose for you pagans in his holy plan, but I confess to utter bafflement. Hunwald, your father was at my hospice for a time, but he left of his own accord without saying a word. That's all we know. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scurrying thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Why is the dog kicking off? Stay within these walls where you're safest. Oh no, I'll have to have a look. I'll have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. Oh, no reason. Again. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Right, okay. I'm going to nip to the loo real quick. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Uh, see you in a sec. Okay, I'm back. Um, right, okay, let's see the chat. I'm about to start Fate of the Land, this is. Is it good? <laughs> oh, it's the, furthest, it's the furthest thing from good that Assassin's Creed has ever been. If I'm being entirely honest with you. Right. That's the Fate of Atlantis for you. Alright, let's, let's get a roll on this. Trying to do this when the dog starts barking. It happens all the time. I think the dog spends more time barking than he spends asleep, and he spends a lot of time asleep. Hunwald's father was recuperating here a long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Well, let's head on in. Where 
Where's the Elderman? Did you see where he went? I, I don't know. Elderman who? Sorry, I, I'm busy. You. Do you know where your Elderman is? I can tell you a few things, but not here in the open. Follow me. Here's where I follow her and she tells me something not relevant. Let's go. Why are her arms why are her arms moving like that? Look at look at the arm movement. Just Oh it's actually fine now. It wasn't before. We're just sort of dangling. This is far enough. Tell me what you know. Oh, I know loads of things about our elderman. I know his favourite foods. I know when his bedclothes get changed. And I know he hates being bled with leeches. That sort of thing. But where has he gone? Ah, where? I have no bloody idea. Is that what you asked me? Forget it. Great. You. Are you the head sister here? Aye. And I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. It's bad enough I've got these armoured cod pieces watching me work. Now you. No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins, just south of here. I'll look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. I accidentally swung those and... Okay. Explore the bathhouse. In the absence of an elderman. Okay. I want to get through this arc today, I've decided. I do. I do. I love this arc, though. This is one of the, the arcs that I've really enjoyed. There's a lot of there's a lot of arcs in this game that I really enjoy. I think Lincolnshire's one of them. Hello, gamers. It's I. Oh, God. I used the ability at the wrong time, and as a result, I no longer have the ability to use it. Why did he have a barrel on his forehead? <laughs> Hammer me? Cool. Oh god, he's got a, he's actually got a brick. What a waste of a brick. There are impoverished families out there that could have eaten that brick. What are you doing? Okay. Whatever. Right. I think that's my bad joke of the day out of the way. It was a long time in the in, in the works. Um, now we'll move on. And oh, okay. Yep. Here we are. I guess this is the, um, yeah, I guess this bathhouse is clearly abandoned as there are fucking bandits in it, but whatever. One chunky guard. He's a big man. He is a big guy. You know, like he's a, he's a large gent. These tunnels run deep. Was the ultimate fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? Oh, ah, damn it. Here you go, dickhead. One in the face.
all Mercians traipsing across our routes. Can't piss from here to Bolingbrock without someone demanding some ungodly deal. All this traffic has made smuggling a difficult job. Yep, they would have noticed that I air assassinated there. Always be difficult. I prefer it to paying tribute. Never again will we bend to the Mercian crown. I think I've been seen. Do you think? Ow, my face. Off you go, sunshine. Stealth worked out, didn't it, guys? That was cool. Longbow. Oh, okay. Right, well. Here we are. Roaring Meg Spring. I think I can save here. Yeah. It's a good place as any to save. Save up, make sure that we're good as we continue. Um, yeah. Okay. There's fighting here. About what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits didn't fare so well. Naturally. I love these investigations because you have a little bit of some visual cue that something happened here makes it feel unique in that sense like, oh this happened and stuff yeah why not can't complain a noble's cloak with the image of a swan looks like the ultimate passed this way Let's get the likes up, gamers. That'd be fantastic. I guess I need to find that key. There's not... What's going on? Oh, yeah. I know what I need to do. Let's go. Ow. That wasn't very nice. I wasn't going for that, but okay. Here we are. The lovely bits. A new proposition. Orvin, we have received an offer from an unnamed Saxon requesting safe passage to the sewers of Boiling Broke. The amount is considerable, which leads me to believe they have something of great value they cannot afford to be seen with. Insist on seeing what it is before accepting their offer. If it merits it, double the amount. If they refuse, kill them. Lucian. A Saxon nobleman paid some bandits for permission to slip through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbroke Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it didn't end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the Elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbroke Castle. That's my best lead. Bolingbroke Castle. Let's go. <clears throat> right. Fresh air. 
The air is fresh and makes me feel good about myself. To the horse. Da, 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 da. Apparently that's the way it wants me to go, but this feels more like the way I need to go. It's much more like it. What do you want, you dickhead? All right. Right, we have arrived at what do you see? a place. Find and speak to Elderman Hunbehor. Hood, please. Hood, please. I killed these blokes out of, well, desire to kill them, I guess. Yeah, that's all that that's all that was required. I felt like it. Standard bearer. Nope. I should go the other way. I should I should be an eagle bearing mystios. Thought I'd hit him in the head, but oh well. I think I'm in trouble now. There I go, just cutting people up. They're, they're easier to deal with while they're asleep rather than when they're not, you know? Why didn't you just assassinate him for fuck's sake? I was in stealth! I swear to Christ. Come on, get out of the fucking, get out of the fucking building. Oh really? <sighs> Much of an adventure as that was, we're only up to the first Come through then, lad.
this music is so good. It's got like a Brotherhood AC1 sort of vibe to it. The leap of fucking faith, man! Galaglach trousers, okay. Well, that's, that's great. We like a bit of Galaglach trousers, I guess. I guess that's right, that's fun. All I know is it's certainly kicking off now. What was that? Well, here we are. I'm on the right track. That keep is well protected. God's name. is his own prisoner. He's an ill man, leave him be. Besides, we ain't got it too How do you see me through the fucking boxes, big man? Man has eyes in the back of his head. Well, no, he can just see through boxes because, of course, he can. I'm a bit oily. Do you mind giving me a minute while I figure that out? Come on, hit the. That fucking pot! Oh my god. Right. There we go, that took far too much effort. Focus of the Nornir. Cool, don't know what that is, but sounds cool. Now, now back to the cinematic part of it all. Well, we could get a good shot of this, I think. There we go. It's a bit dramatic. There now, my lord. All is prepared. Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes?
Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? The flies certainly are. Your Elderman is long past the days of good conversation. Yet still, he makes good company. I've been instructed to wash and prepare his earthly vessel. Instructed by whom? Soldiers. They brought him here as he protested, feebly. I did my best to make him comfortable. Until he slipped away. Humboldt should know his father's fate. Humboldt deserves to know the truth about his father's fate. He is owed an inheritance and deserves a chance to become Elderman himself. All in good time, I imagine. No, now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I've seen all I need to, but Hunvald will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. Okay, search for the proof. I don't know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Foul. Rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of Galvina's journal. Cool. Dried herbs and berries pressed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. Cool. A box of musty clothing and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Humboldt and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. Well, I guess I must move. I wonder what's in there actually. Is it this ain't the room we had a scrap in, is it? It feels similar to it, but not it. And we're on the road doing bits. What's this? Oh. Maybe it's another animal that's a stupid level that we can fight. My flesh. Oh, God. Hello, sir. What happened? Were you bit? Oh, yes. Snake bit. Just like you. Ah, uh, naturally. Oh, it's there's more of them. Well, suffice to say, he's not going to be getting up anytime soon. He appears to have become friends with a wolf. Who I will kill as a thank you. Sorry, you're more valuable to me as resources than a friend. Time to feed the crows. People, my thanks for your contribution. Well, there you go.
obviously I want to go in this fucking direction. But okay. That just gave me some Red Dead Redemption 2 vibes. That was just a that was a specific world encounter that you have at that spot. It's a little bit different to the guy who's bitten by a snake and you have to suck the, ven suck the venom out. Because that guy's just like a bandit sort of thing. And of course you have those encounters in Red Dead Redemption 2. But they're uh, but they're um, not... They're kind of random. Sure, they're set in what they are, but they're random in where they are and when. It was that, it was just there. But the Redemption 2 stole it from the Elder Scrolls. By that logic, for sure. I don't think anyone has some form of monopoly on who can and cannot use bandit attacks in their game. The, have they replaced the guards here? It doesn't appear as if they have. They have. <laughs> but they left the corpse there because of course they did. That was a Unity style jump. Eivor, what news? All of the news. Your father's dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Umbiot's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong, a pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... He... <laughs> oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer. Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son. Do not forget it. He's been dead for some time. That was obvious by the state of his corpse. One of you knows more than you're letting on. I'm sorry, Hanwalt. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. Uh, King Chairwolf must choose a new elderman. You need a new elderman here. And it falls to King Cheowulf to make that choice. But once we find agreement, Eivor, the nobles here will convene a Shaimu to select a new candidate. The winner will stand before the king for approval. Explain how this works, your Shaimu. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot. But between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. We Norse have a similar custom. We have a similar custom, what we call an Althing. An assembly of good folk. With so many like habits, there should be peace between our people and yours. Perhaps that begins now. Apart from Hunvald, who else will stand for the ultimate seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. 
And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire and will convene in a few days' time. I do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Suddenly everyone it's wants to speak Christ to Eivor. Pagan. I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. I feel like the music might have bugged. With whom be off the the music doesn't really fit. Enemies may strike again. Right, let's head to the menu. Let's load up. The quick save we just laid down and see if it fixes that music. Because I don't know if it's bugged or if it... Wants to be the ominous track. That played when we found um, that dead body. enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. I'll him to console him. I should follow her. Quests. Speak to Archer. There we go. That's not an Archer. Excuse me, gents. Oh, I'm, I'm welcome here now. I don't need the hood. Are people humming Ezio's family? That's not what that was. All right, cool. Sir. Archer, where is Humboldt? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road, to the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. I have better people to speak to. Follow in your self-made grief, Bevis. Go then. Why linger here? Cool. Hunwald. What is it? A fight? A horse, actually. How far into the story are you? This far. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, about 40 hours near enough on this save. This is the progress I've been making. He's off that thing now. Oh my god! That that was not intended at all, but alright. I won't complain. Right, don't worry about it. I've just accidentally murdered a horse. Allow me to get over that while I kill everyone else. out on Hunwald. Oh, he's ruffled some feathers, that much is clear. Do you know him? I do. Then the Lord truly is watching over me. Right place, right time. Thanks for saving my neck, stranger. 
I pray I can return the favor someday. Okay. Cool. Let's get a move on. I think I've unlocked some skill points as well, which is good. Fortunate business. Let's do this. Uh Chain Assassination. Yep. Chain Assassination is a good skill to invest in there. What power level are we now? 95, 195? Yeah, that's right. Yep, we're making progress. We'll be power level 200 before we know it. And then we can go up to power level fuck off. And then we can go up to power level fuck off but faster. That horse got his life yanked out of it. That he did. Show me. To the tree. Da, 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 da. Would you drink with me? Unbald. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate. Contemplate. Contemplate the view. Let's have a drink to the memory of your father. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness, but let your aching love light the mead of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the m most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeorf of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. The white old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat. But it's the wrong end! <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. She has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, uh, Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Right. Off to Grimsby. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. <laughs> and the co contents of your gut. Oh, no. Not drinking and riding. That sounds... Horrible. Right, where are we?
Hurry off, drunken man. Now come and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep No, shores. get off of the follow the road thing, Abel. What am I doing up here? Okay, let's go. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor full, why come to England at all? Uh, you can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. <laughs> Very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. Follow the road is useless here. This land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish and experienced, but I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. By God, I just want to have that chance. What was that? Birds, Eivor. <gasps> Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Squared. Yep, definitely not birds. Stop here. Something isn't right. I don't fight her. Now! Father, give me There you go, that's one. Hello. It's the only time that's ever worked, and it's on one of the difficult guys. The skirmisher, the... Oh, God. I had a little bit of health left, and I had to dodge around his dodging to time a good attack on those. How many of these dickheads are there? How do we more get there? Ah... Uh, Unwalled. You're useless, sir. Right in the bottom hole. Sir. That's twice they've tried to kill you, Unwald. And twice failed. We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away. I'm serious, Hunvald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me. My horse. Hunvald, you can you fuck off. This place is safe. The safest spot in the Shire. Yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, yeah. to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. There we go. Pinval, I 
thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. You make an interesting couple. You really have been courting a Dane. It's a side of you I didn't expect. People say we're an odd couple. I do not care much what people say. As every boat needs an anchor, every man needs his swan burrow. The light of my life. Eivor has been my champion as I stake my claim in Lincolnshire. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. Then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunvald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunvald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunvald, no. The Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. She looks like somebody who uses He's Tumblr, lol. I don't know what that means. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. Right, is there a viewpoint nearby? Because there's gotta be, yep. There's a viewpoint, there's a couple viewpoints nearby. We should probably go off and get those. Um... Opinion on, opinion on the game? Yeah, I'm having a good time. I'm just going through it, um, having fun. I'm so sorry I wasn't here earlier. It's no worries, cigarette chair. You're here now. That's 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 more than I'm owed. Believe me. Um, I did start pretty early today. We're going since like half eleven. It's been four hours basically. Haha! <laughs> it's a dead deer. But yeah, don't forget to leave a like on the stream, share with your friends, hit subscribe if you're new. Let's aim for 175 likes for now. That'd be, that'd be terrific. That's yesterday in AC Valhalla. I travelled to London. Oh yeah. Do you want me dead? Oh god, you do want me dead. That's not never a good thing. You're a very spongy wolf, eh? Okay, now. A good idea would be to swerve that. Because that is a fight that we are just simply not ready for. I watched a video about the man on the bench in Assassin's Creed Embers from four years ago. Oh, well, that was an old video. Yeah. I don't know how I'm... I don't know how I'm still going, really. Four years is a long time. Long time for me.
doing a great job. I've also watched the videos about the gangs of Red Dead Redemption 2. Ah, those are those are better videos. <laughs> yeah, those are videos I had great fun making. Um, there's a couple more that I could have do. Uh, but, I mean, th that stuff is mostly... The, the, the ones I haven't done are, like, story gangs and, you know, that's in your face anyway. Cigarette chair! Epic gaming with the gamers. Cheers for the for the super chat, man. I really appreciate it. It is indeed epic. Epicest of gaming. Don't know what, what detected me there. But something has. I want to know what's going on over here. Snoring man. Ah, I know this. There's a note here. The note says, Stranger, if you're reading this, you have either found me asleep or killed me and stole from my corpse. If it's the first, I'll regret this annoyance and ask that you return me to my wife in Grimsby, a village to the north of the shoreline of Lincolnshire. If it's the second, I hope you slip and fall down the sheerest of cliffs. <laughs> the man's like... If you found me asleep in the woods and you're reading this as a result of that, help me out here. I've got narcolepsy. But uh, but if you've killed me, I hope you step on Lego. That this 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 man is genuinely unhinged. This road supposedly takes us to Grimsby. Now it does. Okay. I'm just trying to get the man off the horse. This does not need to be difficult. I found him asleep beneath a tree. He is unharmed. My poor Bjarsti. I'm so glad he's all right. You saved his life. Luck was with him. No hungry wolves or roaming bandits. The note he carries is helpful, but he must have more caution. He may not be so lucky the next time. You're right. I will wait until he wakes. And when he does, I will felt him. And that is a start. Oh, well. I was filled with worry. Well, I don't want to be around here when that guy gets belted, whatever that means. Um... Alright, let's turn to the world and find some, yeah, viewpoint over in that direction. And while we're at it, let's, let's mark a quest on the Thane of Lincoln. That one, that'll do. I'll head in the direction of whichever one of these I believe is going to, uh, I guess if it says this is the way, this is the way, right? He snores like my dad. Well, punch him in his mouth. I feel like it's taking me to the... the hang on. The map marker. It's taking me to my map marker. That's fine.
Here we go. So I pre-ordered Cyberpunk last night. Can't wait for the game. Yeah, I look forward to I look forward to Cyberpunk. I pre-ordered it a few weeks back, and I can't wait to you know finally be able to play it. And it reminds me, I've got to get my Valhalla playthrough and review done by then. I've got to get my Brotherhood video done by then. Uh, yeah, oh, could be it could be a, a long haul. Then, well, I've got to get it done by early. Well, but by the all by, by the fourth of December, really, because that's when the charity stream thing goes on and then from the 4th to the 7th the only real content i want to be publishing is that stream on the 7th so if i go dark it's because i'll be uh promote uh, i'll be trying to not draw attention away from the the charity business you know what i mean So really, I've got until the 4th to finish up with Valhalla um, and get my review done. And Well, then there's Spider-Man Miles Morales as well. Though I might save that one until after the charity business and then put that in the days after and then have the... Uh, yeah, that... You know what I mean. Oh, God, it's going to be difficult, but I can do it. If anyone can do it, tis me. What happened there? I'm just looking for an explosive pot. I have found plenty. Do not worry. No, I drop into this pit of being on fire. Loot this chest and leave. As exactly as 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 the the prophecy foretold. Um Let's go. I presume in this direction first and then over to the thing. Let's get to two hundred likes, that would be fantastic. We can do that. Of uh, Emmett. Mass Effect Remaster. The Mass Effect Trilogy Remaster. Yeah, no. Bloody hell. <laughs> I was beyond ecstatic to see that finally actually get announced and prove that I was right. Because I know when I was covering it, people didn't actually believe it was real for... Well, a lot of people didn't. And I wanted I wanted, I wanted, badly to prove that, you know, there was, there was a reason why I was covering it and that I wasn't going mental. And I was really glad to see that there was actually a reason after all. And so I was ecstatic to see that, and now I guess I'll, I'll, I'll take any excuse to replay the Mass Effect trilogy. Give me that excuse and I'll take it, you know what I mean? That's me, that's me sorted. I heard about the Red Dead remaster. Uh, so far, I haven't seen a, I haven't seen anything for that that can verify it as um, as actually legitimate. Everything so far that I've seen hasn't been real. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, I think the code is a bit fucked and it can't be remastered. It could be remade, but there's no evidence to suggest that Rockstar is doing that, and there's no logical reason to believe that they you would just yet. Bent over the barrel of another adventure, I see. This is his fault. I told him they looked like bandits, but he insisted on cheating them out of coin. We need to leave. Some of them went to fetch firewood. They will be back any moment. There is no we in this. Your brother, your problem. What? No, please. Look at him. He is dead weight. Dead weight soon. You should hurry. If I have to carry him, we will never make it out of here alive. Please. Oh, God. It's the, the fake sons of... Uh... Brother is lucky I like you. The, the fake gamers. Be much between your ears, but you are not the problem here. Thank you. This way. It's this guy and his brother who is mental. Saxon filth. 
There is no besting these sons of Ragnar. Say the fake sons of Ragnar. The world will know us by name. A sleep talker. Just what I needed. Why is his arm clipping through Avos? It's like... See this? Do you see it? This blade was forged by Grundle. Grundle Thundersmith. Greatest of all blacksmiths. One nick, and your life essence will shoot out of you like a gazer from the depths of Norway. You laugh. Am I a joke to you? Do I look like a jester? That is what I thought. You will think again before laughing behind my back. No one laughs at me. No one. Cast him aside when this is done. For your sake. Hmm. Where am I popping him? Are we going anywhere in particular? He's running around in circles. Okay, well, there are bandits here. Uh. Hi Fishy, hello sir. How goes it? Where am I placing this uh this useless this useless dickhead? Here? Cool. I must be anonymous. Well, like I said the last time that's not fucking likely, is it? Sir please, let me speak to you. Sir please. Look! There! Stay close to him. Not bad. Stop on the maggot. But again, I have to come in and finish him off, so it's I presume it's done now and I can talk to you. Be done with it. It's raining on your brother as he lays here like a clown. This is where we part ways. Yes. My my thanks. Thank you. Stop thanking me and listen closely. This life does not suit you. There are people out there who would kill you over these petty squabbles. This I have realized. If your idiot brother hatches another one of his glory-seeking plans, take your fist and slam it right between his eyes. Or better yet, punch him in his cock. He will listen. Punch his cock. <laughs> yes. That should get the point across. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You would never see us again. Good. never suspected us. We are more clever than we look, eh? Where are you going, brother? You must tell the details of this great victory. I am going home. Cool. To the skills page. Right. Ah. Lovely.
No, I can save there. And we're at skill, skill, well, power rating 197. I wanted to reach at least 200 today. I think we'll do that just fine. Somehow. You're fucking cracked. <laughs> hey, you got you gotta love that. You know when when a character's lines verge on something that you might actually say when in that situation yourself. You're like, oh yeah, that's great. Bit of a bit of a shit hole, don't you think? Oh, sir, it's a hole hey, in your wall. I'm pleased you came. Welcome to my estate, old friend. You know me a whole five seconds. It's an impressive amount of land you're overseeing. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeor before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. If this belonged to the Elderman, shouldn't it go to Hunwald next? I suppose so. But I thought you a more fitting recipient. You'd know how to use it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt plan for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and Shiremouths. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. I feel to the inventory. What's that? What? What was that? What did it show on that menu? Because that looks so weird. Is it the inside of this? Has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it. If only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the Shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. Mm -hmm. Sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god. Uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herodrith and Hunwald say. You Danes are damned decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived. Not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Alfgard? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. He's got a big sword and he just carries it on his shoulder. <laughs> ah, my old friend Grim. How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grim's being? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. Uh, I'm... okay. I'm Norse, actually. Something you might learn by asking. Well met, Grim. Glad to have you along. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear. 
That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgard claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? <laughs> Search the cave for the bear. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the It's windy. God shall provide. Have no worries. It's windy. There's an atmosphere to that. Yeah, why not? This oh. is the threshold of the beast's home. There's no doubt in that. That's not a bear. There you go. I'm stabbing. I'm I'm hacking the ground to death next to a wolf, and it's doing its job. Don't mind me. Just uh. Trying all sorts. Now let's find the. Uh, let's find. Oh, that off he goes. This this Elvgar El or whatever his name is. I uh, forget. Elvgar, yeah, Elvgar. He's a bit. He's a bit arrogant, isn't he? Until you were away to set your world aflame. I'll this send this straight to hell. So far. Work with me. we go. More of these dickheads to kill. Ah, huh, if they don't kill me first, that is. Not what I wanted to do, but okay. Oh god, come back! I guess this bow has its uses. Right! My guy is dead. Right, hello, sir. 
there's more attackers, are there? Well, oh, now I can go and speak to Elvgar, or Elvgar, or however you want to say his name. Crazy man, Muk sir. Right, sir. Men who would see you burn or dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. He's holding onto something. He does nothing. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Alfgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven, the bear is returned. <laughs> I love how the bear's just staring at this woman. <laughs> oh my God! Why is the chicken fighting me? The Shire Moot will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. You haven't really done a good job of putting that house out, have you? It's still on fire. <laughs> right. To the to the Shire Moot in the land, I guess. Let's go. Da -da 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 -da. That was that went to plan, I promise. Definitely wasn't looking for that haystack. Right. You. Archer, is everything ready? The Shire Moot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shire Moot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's not an easy choice to make. But I will choose with care, I promise. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. You. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. Sir. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He is learning fast. Good man. Let's converse with the boy. Good evening, Alfgar. Eivor. I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It's a difficult choice, Alfgar. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I don't doubt your convictions, Lord. Grim, good to see you again. Hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. Hunwald. How oh, fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this shire. 
There's more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That's good to hear. And then there's you. Bishop, Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I don't trust this I man now at all. Guides your hand accordingly. Oh. What a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. Oh, I don't trust him at all. Right, I guess we should go and cast our vote. A difficult decision, but fuck the bishop. It's between the other two. Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Let's consider Elfgar. Though tinged with arrogance, Elfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? Hunwald. Hunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Herfrith. The bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety, but he is wisest of the three and has already proven himself. Let's not cast a vote for him. I... I think, uh... I think, I don't know. I actually don't know. Um, who should we go for? Um, I think it's pretty easy. That I think Hunwald's our best bet, really, because he will probably he doesn't. I don't trust him too much because he's a bit arrogant. He'll he'll want to further himself. Hunwald is a good puppet for us. Herefrith, I don't trust Herefrith. Hunwald, it is. Both go along. I cast my vote for Hunwald. Lead your shire with pride, ferocious swan. He was also an idiot, and that'll be funny. It is decreed by this lawful Shire moot that the Elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed Lord Hunfjord, Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. The music is playing mysterious again. I, I don't know what to say. I thank you deeply, madly, humbly. What more can I say? I. The game sounds like muted, does it quite all the time? I think it's glitched my again. Father. I'd sooner see him standing here than. Well. Hang on, look like the stream died for a moment there. Right, it's back. As all well know, this Shire Moot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this oh, end, no. we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. The septic rot has overtaken this shire. 
A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace. What is this? Oh no. That man just got stabbed up. Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! It's gonna be difficult to fight in here with all these innocents about. And that's the Crozier, that's... That's, well, you know, that's this guy. And well, he's dead now, isn't he? He's gonna, he's gonna suffer for... Well... I mean, the order had to come into it somehow. I accidentally killed a civilian. Oh no. There's some legit dead people about now. This one's gone. Find those who still draw breath. Polish your ass, Wunwald. The ultimate seat is yours. That man running in the background. Just you waste no time in catching this grief tosser. He won't be far. We should first bury our dead, no? That choice is yours to make, Ultiman. Yes. Yes, of course. We'll bury our dead, then raise a feared. at a loss for words a trusted man of the cloth <coughs> i will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free be well archer and you eivor may god or or the gods protect you <laughs> Well, that music in the background, I feel, is glitched again. So it's just, it's just playing. Out. It's just, you know. Well, it just doesn't feel like the right thing. So let's quickly reload. Speak to the new elderman. Whereabouts? Whereabouts is he? Oh, there. Right, let's go and. Sp I guess let's go and speak to him. Once I'm out of this building here, it'll be easy enough. Right. All right. Been going for five hours nearly. That's good. That's good going for us. Right, I've got some skill points to invest. Let's get them out of the way. Um... I don't critical thing. Everything around you will appear to move slower. Give me time to heal or flee. Ability damage and... Well, I mean, that's all we need really, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we, get, we don't have any more skill points. I got confused, but it's fine. Go. 
suited. Gaming. Ezio versus Ava in combat with only hidden blades. I have no fucking clue, man. One's a Viking, the other is a. Well, an assassin, I don't know. In open combat, I don't know who I'd favour, but Ezio is known for being stupidly fast, so. Yeah. A bold attack. And in broad daylight. The hatred that eats at that man must be ravenous. It wasn't really broad daylight, it was just inside. What news, Everyone was there. We've learned that Herivrith rode for the fort at Anicastri following the massacre. I have assembled a fiat there. Quite a large one, in fact. They eagerly await your orders, Eivor. You mean your orders, Selderman? Ah, yes, that's right. My orders. Which are... Which are what, exactly? Who can say? Ride with me to your camp, and we'll find out together. Okay, well, I guess that. Herivrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Herivrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. What? Your Christ was an interesting man. If a little soft, but stranger still, I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The din of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Atya taken all this? She and Herivrith were so close. She must feel as though the devil himself attacked the monastery. The poor lady. We are the men of Lincolnshire. Remember it. My ancestors fought with the old kings of Lindsay. I'm just getting all the resources on the way. <laughs> oh, rations and shit. The feared will soon be ready for action. Give them mead and let them rest. There's hard fighting ahead. Right, let's speak with them. Such carnage. I've Who's never fetching seen. the turf this time, eh? The one to freeze to death here. I stood over the I stood under the table and kicked that man off. Oh my god, that was cool. That was cool. Obviously a bug, but cool. The hatred that eats at that man must be ravenous. Our war smith has arrived. The feards are ready to fight. Chief Denable, can we win this fight with the men you see assembled here? If they fight with the bravery of double their number, we may. And is there room in your Valhalla for a ferocious swan? Of course. Let fly your glorious banner. Are we ready then? We attack now. Ready the feared. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Okay. Mm. Is that a, that was a, that was a, that was a Norse pray, praying to God or something, right? Or a Dane, one of, probably a Norse considering the Raven Clan thing. Okay. Interesting. I don't know how I didn't notice that before. But no, that was curious.
to me, holy warriors of Lincolnshire. Come on. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. Get them, get them moving it. And I'll get scrapping. I, I need that battering ram moving, really. Oh, there, there people are in. I could just go over the, the ladder. In a bit. Out we come, gamers. Welcome in. Me if I pick up one of these, it's battle time. Oh, Hunwald just murdered a man. Church without facing judgment. Right, let's mooch on into this place. Bard. Where's Bishop Dickhead and how do I get into his, his his lovely little ends? I wonder. Is there a way into Bishop Dickhead from up here? I don't know. There should be. Bishop Cockface, I will find a way in. Give me a minute. Hello! Tis I. I need to smash one of the windows and get myself a view of the inside, really. There was a window there, but it's been... ...bricked up, whatever. Hey. 
done. Why do I keep seeing Family Guy jokes in your comments? I don't know. Why, why, why do you keep seeing Family Guy jokes in my comments? It's so weird. Come on up and say hello. It's the worst that could happen. <laughs> yes, I wanted to smash the fucking window. Is off. He's for a run. Should have brought a key with him and locked in, locked, locked it on the way past. Would have been, would have been good. He's actually just running through the battlefield now. I'm a fast boy. Ah. Is no one going to stop him? Guys, he's literally dipping. Where's my stamina? Why won't I sprint? Sprint. Sprint. How many arrows can Avol carry? Simply put, a few. Doing my best here. There we go, we got him. No, I want to confirm my kill if that's okay. Full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Hedadrin. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. You should have learned to enjoy it. Right. Bishop Herefrith is eliminated and the battle is... Oh, the assault is complete. And it only took us five hours to get to this point. This stream, well... To be fair, this is the longest episode I've done in this playthrough. Yes, I've climbed the tree. I am the tree man. Right, okay, move. I've, moved, I've cleared a solid, I don't know, a solid 200 meters with that, just chasing that one dickhead. Right, now if I look at the, the the order, we found this guy, the Magister Tashfrid, the liar, and we can mark him. Where is he actually? I want to know. In Granterbridge. Yeah, we can find him. Yeah, no, that's easy. It's easily done. You can upgrade the uh, the arrow the arrow capacity. Yes. Hmm. 
Oh, this is a good place for a screenshot, actually. See, I've got I've got plenty here. Maybe an, maybe another screenshot will do good. Oh no. I've got plenty like this. Where you can sort of see the. It looks really good. Um, but I think I've already got a screenshot here. Actually, if I open the map. It might not show it on here, but I do have a screenshot of this sort of thing where I'm like walking towards. And there's looks very Assassin's Creed in itself. This guy needs to fuck off, he's ruining the shot. Sort of like this. No fog whatsoever. Why not? What's your power level? Um, uh, one nine nine at the moment should be yeah. Sir. Avil, is he? Is the bishop dead? He bled too little and talked too much. Now he's gone. I won't miss him. But Atcha will need some time to grieve. Well, ferocious swan, notched a few scars in your baby fat today. Yes, but they will heal, and stronger than before. Lincolnshire is yours to lead, Elderman. The hardest fight begins now. The din of battle still rings in my ears. I think I now know what it means to be a leader. Good. I would ask a favor, if I could. Name it. As Elderman, my life may be a dangerous one. For a time, anyway. Would you allow my Swanborough to take refuge in your settlement? At least until I feel all danger has passed. We'd be happy to have her. Thank you, my sturdy Norse berserker. The mead halls of my shire will be lonely without you stomping about. Our people are bonded now. We must look out for one another. Blast it. I am a horror with goodbyes. It'll do for now. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Rantley. Let's tell her the good news. Yeah. All right, so is that the that's the yeah that's the shot I just took. Well, I mean we could go back to Ranvi straight away, or we could go to Grand Bridge, uh to mark our boy. Let's mark him and then head down to where he'll be, which is here. Mark him there, and let's go. That was a weird sound for when we landed in the haystack. Oh, you finished the Odin arts. Uh, you mean the Asgard stuff? The uh, I've done Asgard, I've done Jotunheim, and I'm I'm yet to go and scrap the big the big dog. You know what I mean? I mean, I tried to, and it just pasted me. Not as badly as it should have, but it did still paste me, and that's all that matters.
There's a bird in the house that the fish is smushed. Oh god. I'm here to hunt an order of ancients member. I guess. Why not? It's done. And now it's slow motion. At least this stool is nice and bloody now. You won. I can see defeat. When Scops mention me, they will sing of my conquests. Cowards do not get sagas. I am no coward. In a long lost battle for Wessex, I was the victor. The Scop could speak of that time. Focus on my lost honor. No. I'll leave your reputation as it is, here, in the blood-blackened mud. Lovely, two skill points. Now, we're, now we should be skill, well, power rating 201 when we're done with upgrading this nonsense. Right, uh, let's go. Increase the adrenaline. Yeah, power 201. I'm not doing too bad. Upgrade that. Upgrade that, of course. I'm done. And now if we check the order... Oh, we've done all these. We've done all that. Now we can do all this, I guess. Um, that's one to do. And I presume... Yeah, no, I need to get through some of these as well. I could do Woden... We could hunt Woden, but that is a fucking painful boss fight because, well, I mean, just is. So first things first, we need to head up to the settlement and do some, do some bits. Um, part of me wants to fight that guy, but another part of me knows that he's a, he can be quite, he can be quite annoying in the sense that he regenerates health. Um, that one is known to regenerate health, like, well, all of his health. This is a long loading screen for the PS5. The music just sort of cut out. Right. You. Gonna. Even when Dog was younger, he had a streak in him. Hate to see it go that way. But you did the right thing. Can't imagine what you are feeling. Anyhow, you probably need something, yeah? Uh, I want to talk about my gear. I would like to see what you have in stock. Hmm. Right. Okay. Magister's cloak. Let's enhance the quality of that. Does it look nicer now? It does. It's got red on it now. It's cool. Can we enhance the quality of this? Wonder how this looks. Ah, yes. It's like armor. Enhance the quality of you. Look at that, different color trousers, why not? How many of these do we have? We've got 11 of them, fuck. We can just upgrade whatever. Those gloves stay more or less the same. I think the left one changes a little. The other one's mask, I guess. How's Carl's act? Well, Varen's act can be improved. Now it looks cooler. It can. No, House Carl's axe. Improve that one. And the the bow. Will that have a new look as well? No. Now I can actually assign some runes and shit. I should probably do that. I do good work, I must say. I actually should improve the bow. What have you got? The hunter bow. Nothing else I can. Goodbye. Made it sick. Right to the inventory. Can I upgrade any of these further? No, but I can. Ass I guess I can. Oh, I can upgrade that. Right, let's assign some runes, shall we? Because we need to do that. Um, 
Rain of Protection. Minus health. What's this in? That's in the Huntsman Armor. Doesn't need to be in that. Runes in this. Rune of Haste. Rune of Attack. Why would, why would that be useful there, actually? Hang on. Minor Light Rune, why not? Actually, no, it needs to make some form of sense. I know it's a bit messy at the moment, but don't worry. I know this game prefers it when you have full sets. We'll get to that. We will. There we are. Why not? We're at least equipped with um, some bits and pieces, I guess. Blinding rush. Use stamina to move undetected. It ends upon enemy contact. Cool. Now I've gotten the nice red hood and I feel like an assassin. Yes. My name is Mr. Mr. Sir. The finest sir of them all. Can we can we pass over any uh, order? Um, pieces to hide them. Where's hide them again? For a moment there I worried that I... Hello? How about you? Eivor, hello. I have some new styles for you. Change hands, I tell you. Why, we, why are we doing this out here in the open? I mean, of course. We do need to customize a little bit, though. Um, I reckon. I like shaved. I don't know why I like shaved, but I do. As for the beard, the beard needs to be... What does it look like without anything? It looks weird without... It needs to be a proper beard. It needs to be... Not like a big man beard, because they're just a bit... They just don't work too well with the cloak. But I think we'll just go back to this. Back tattoo style. Um, let's have a look. Let's see what that looks like. And then that. What's that? See that? That's, a, that's, that's snazzy. Yeah, why not? Now I'm looking like a scary man. Anything else I can do for you? I have to go. I must take my leave. So long. Until I see you next. That's a strange place to set up shop outside of your shop. Sir. Oh, I don't have enough old medallions yet. Go. Then go in peace. Huh, <sighs> right. I'm sure Eivor is the shortest. Well, Bayek isn't especially tall either. But no, Eivor is a very short character. But Eivor isn't an assassin, so I don't think you can say that Eivor is the shortest assassin. Hey there. Ah, it's the Wolfger. Bishop Dayalaf. Not a letter. You are a good boy. Things are settled in Shropshire. I can scarce believe that all warning group. Oh, cool. We had a good time. Randvi. Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? The boy Hunwald is the new elderman of Lincolnshire. And he has sworn allegiance to us. The loud one, an elderman? Well, should he ever wish to call for aid, he need only shout. Lovely. So have a look at the alliance map. Where am I pledging to now? Essex, Sussex. I don't really want to pledge to Sussex just yet. We need to do all these really. First, I can't go up there. I can go to Jorvik, but I think Essex is the one we need to do first of these lot. Somehow, I'd love to go up and do Jorvik, don't get me wrong. But, I mean, 
if that if Nottinghamshire is, I mean, that's that one needs doing at some point. That's a high level one. Might as well make ourselves a bit more, give ourselves more more access to that. So Essex, it is. What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester, requesting you specifically for a matter of great secrecy. Foreboding. And who is this Elderman? One of King Alfred's lackeys? According to my scouts, he is a man who cares more for his own indulgences than the safety of his people. Approach with care. I will leave at once. An alliance in Essex would be invaluable, but go with caution. Cool. Right. Now, let's fuck. Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. Done. There you go. Now, now everyone's happy, I guess. Various salve, Evo. Right. Well. If I was to check the world. First things first. We've got a boy down here that we need to kill. I want to give. I want to give this guy a bit of killing. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, fast traveling to Canterbury is probably not a very good idea because that place is not. They don't trust me down there. They don't like me, and so yeah. No. Let's travel here and then find the clown on the road from there. That was a disappointing fap for me. I'm sure it was. Why is the camera shaking? Right, let's try and meet this Woden dude and kill him. Because killing this guy is now, I guess... I mean, it's one less to kill later, basically. And since we've got to kill them all, why not? Why not get it done sooner? Who, who wouldn't want to have a good time with the eagle bearing Randvi? Exactly. It's funny as well that people say Randvi looks like Cassandra and they look nothing alike. I always find that to be amusing. Come on, horse. Let's get out. Let's get running. This horse is really slow. I've decided it's because it's a shit horse. This guy's most annoying when he's got friends about. Right, before before we get too close, save here so if anything happens we'll reload right right on his ass. You can't assassinate them, don't even try. Just just you just leave yourself open to disappointment. Oh god, well that was. This came and sla smashed him in his face. Sometimes this guy will just heal all of his health. No matter what you do. So I, I think it's a bug with the fight. Doesn't seem to have got it this time.
This time around, I think I'm doing him in. You just did yourself in there, lad. Well, realistic. You would have. Oh, God. Right. He's now doing me dirty. I need to get the other bow. Move, Avel, for fuck's sake! Fuck. How did this go from zero to a hundred really quickly? I was pasting him, and then he starts just bashing out stupid amounts of moves. And now I have no health, I'm awaiting death, and I need to find somewhere where I can regenerate. Or at least get some health back. There's nothing. Got him. Eivor, please. Now's not the time to have no stamina. Right. Don't know how but we managed. No more winters for you. Better to die than face my lords. I hope my Magister Magnus forgives me. So long, I looked to him for guidance, for order. If your honor is slow, a true lord cannot forgive you. He cannot. <laughs> now I will turn my gaze to Warden, Tiwar, and Funor. I will continue to turn until I find some forgiveness. <sighs> you will spin and drill yourself to an endless button. Well, and now I've got health and rations. How did that happen? <laughs> oh, so much for that. Right, I've got a mysterious halter tablet. Classic. Now I look for some rations so that I can, uh, well, at the very least, not die. If they see me, this will get messy. I want to think it's already gotten pretty messy. There's at least some rations. Should be more about. It's not quite the same when you're not scranning an egg and crest sandwich, is it? There's a little bit of rations on them. There we go, it wasn't so bad. I guess, for now, I need to, well, I don't actually need to head back here at all, um, but I don't really want to continue today, I don't know. I think I've done plenty. Um, 
I do Gloucester at some point. Let's have a look, see if they've if there are any more order members to chase up. Firebrand's in Jorvik. Needles in Jorvik. The Vault is in Jorvik. Thieves Warren on the highest hill in Old Gloucester, just to the north of the town of Bellum. Well, I guess we won't do that. What about you? South of Stonehenge in Hamptonshire. He's on the eastern coast of Essex. Eastern coast of Essex. That's what we're going to now, isn't it? What do you mean, eastern coast? Does Essex have another coast? Okay, let's have a look. Let's go. I thought... Essex was... Whatever. Does Essex have a coast at all? I mean, in the game it obviously does. Yeah, it does. It does. There we go. Kill all orders to get... Well, I mean, I'm killing all order members anyway, so don't tell me what happens at the end. I must, I must get them all. I must kill them all. I must wipe out the order from from the ends. Can anyone answer on what is the halfway point in the story? Like, what arc? Well, I don't think the halfway point is defined so much by your arc as your, uh, as your uh, power rating probably is the best, best indication. Power rating 150 is about halfway. Because you might do, you might go off and do other stuff, and then you never know what the halfway point is. Um, and also, there's a little bit of freedom in what in in what order you can do some stuff. So, yeah, it's hard to judge based on that as well. Okay. I really just want to go this way. Well, we're here. You are underrated. I appreciate your support, man. Do you enjoy Valhalla more than Origins? In a sense, maybe, but in other senses, I really enjoyed Origins, so... I uh, nailed them. That's what I want, isn't it? Yes, I do want this place. Right. Making good good pro good progress. An uncommon proposition, speak with Beerstan, which we could do in a minute, but for now, let's mm. let's quickly go and do some bits up here. Dog's yapping away, loving life. Of course he is. Well, naturally. Someone's probably whipped out a fucking uh, hoover or something. Or maybe a feather or something else that he's terrified of.
Ah, fuck's sake. Just you, just jump in the fucking haystack. How difficult can it be? Right, order. Now, you. No, not you, you. Investigate the Melbourne Salting Camp along the eastern coast of Essex. Right, where's this east? We're in the east, but we need to go to the coast bit. Where the dream? We need to go to a salt camp thing. Something's here. Hmm. But where it wants me to be is down there, for what I'm after. I really like this. Yeah, I really like how the sky looks in this game. It's a nice sky. It's lovely. Now, I guess I'm going to move on and have a look down here. Why do people keep asking leading questions like, are you disappointed by Valhalla? <laughs> no. Why well, you gave me that impression? Can't, you can never attack when falling to negate all fall damage. That's not that's not strictly true. Works sometimes, but other times it doesn't. Trust me, I have tried. The salt bearing Mystios. Can people stop launching shit at me, please? For the love of God. It's just that... It's just the accuracy of it that it doesn't, I don't get. You dodge your bat, that still hits you. Destroy it. There we go. It's one less of those to worry about. He took an arrow to the head. Right, where's the other... Is there another one? No, maybe not. Right. I'm now running low on the archery utilities. Are you... Every time I go hit to hit record to catch a glitch, the glitch ends. That's a bug more so, but you know it is. Oh, come on. Where's the other thing, then? Stop running at me like a fucking lunatic. Oh, there he is. It's, it's the, this guy up here. Another one. He has a weapon on him. Have that in your face. There we go. Now, what am I... I guess, I guess investigations-wise, this is as good a place to go as any. Yeah. 
These guys are all warmed up and training. Jack Esquela, cheers for the super chat, man. I really appreciate it. Have an axe in your head. That's an impressive move, to be fair. Really love it. Now, I guess it's going to play the only to get inside is here, right? Yeah. This way. Oh, and there's the information I'm after. No, and now I want. Oh, hello. I guess I can mark you now because I know where you are. No doubt I'm the closest I've been to where you are. No, I've been closer, but apparently this is the closest I've been with, without. A, this is the this. There's no viewpoint closer than where I am. So I guess we mooch along. And we go and we and we game. Where's the gamer? Right, let's go. I can't believe we've been sat here for six hours just playing Assassin's Creed. But there you go. Longest stream I've done in quite a while, actually. Um, Come on, gamer. Well, 10 hours straight yesterday, so I understand lol. Fair enough. When are you going to do a member thing like channel like James is doing? I don't know if... See, um... I... I can set it up. Like, I can do that, but I... There's a few things, really. Do I want to rely on more income from YouTube? That's one thing. Another thing is, I've got Patreon going as is. Do I want to take away from the Patreon? Uh, do I want to, to have to, to juggle both and live up to both i struggle to live up to one as is and also am i worth that money and honestly i can't sit here and say that i feel like uh, i can't sit here and say that i feel like i am like i don't i don't really i don't mind super chats and stuff like that but i don't know maybe we do a member system but it'll be if i do a member system it'll be the cheapest that can possibly be that'll be it that's 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 all i can really do um, the cheapest it could possibly be. Um, and that way... That way everyone can have the lovely badge and the emojis and not have to worry about anything. At all. I'll set it up at some point if I, if I feel it. Um, I'll have a look into it tonight after I f finish the stream if, it'll, if, if you want me to, to do so. But I don't really want to be doing anything to. Well. Too hefty with it, because at the end of the day, it'll just be hard for me to live up to that and Patreon at the same time. I... Can you read my comment and say you've read it? It makes my day better because I broke my arm. Well. Sorry you broke your arm. I slave for none. I'm scrubbing and can clean of its filth for the safety of my people. Ah, uh, listen. Do you hear? The excuses of a mind enslaved. <laughs> what 
Why do you think... Why do you think it's the father? Well, I mean, the, the identity of the father is fucking obvious. Look, it's obvious. It's obvious who the father is. It, sh it shouldn't show us a silhouette or anything, because it's so obvious who the father fucking is. In fact, if you look closely, you can just see the facial features. Yeah, it's really funny. The vice one lives close to a waterfall. Dice players. Oh god. Where are these? I, I guess I have to go to Jorvik for those three. So that'll be the next arc after this one. Well, we've killed another member of the gaming crew. Have an axe in the face. And did you look at that? Bodies everywhere and everyone's dead. I've also got two skill points. Let's get those skill points real quickly invested. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Ability damage. And guided arrow. I don't think I'll ever fucking use that, but I don't use predator bows, save for very rarely. So what does it matter? Hmm. Red Dead or this, which do you prefer? Well, I've played Red Dead plenty of times. Um, I'm currently playing this. I don't really want to think about which I prefer because there is no, there's no answer I can give just yet. Uh, but of the two, I, I, I say Red Dead is a better game, but you can't compare them because they're so vastly different. It's, I mean, the only thing that they actually share in common really is that they're games that you can play. I thought it crashed again, and I pooed myself and cried. Uh, don't worry though, for it was it was a, it was a holy shit. Both franchises are great. Well, one's had it. One one one's fantastic, and the other's had its fair share of decent moments, and it's also had its fair share of down moments. But it's on a high at the moment, Assassin's Creed, and I respect that. Lovely. Well, we're not we're not doing too badly, um, really. What time are we on? Half five, and I've been going for six hours. We'll get to the six-hour mark because we're so close. We might as well. Then I reckon I'll wrap up this stream, and for a short bit, I'll I mean I'll go get myself some food, and I'll set up a stream for later, and then we'll go for a couple hours after that, or something like that. Depends. I didn't I didn't I didn't really feel like I was going to go for too long today, but here I am, six hours. Six hours later, you know, um, and I've still got a bit of fight left in me. I don't want to have a BRB screen on for ages while I set up some, grab some scram, because that's not very anti-viewer in the video format um, when people, when when it gets up as a video. And I mean, honestly, I'm, I'll be honest with you there. How, how viewer friendly is a six hour video anyway? I'm not very, but whatever. I mean, I better not make it worse. Uh, and th so I'll do that. Um, but I'll do this flighting first. That'll be our good. That'll be our goodbye piece. We'll good we'll morrow, flight and flight. I stand here on behalf of the Lady Elect of Colchester, famed mistress of the flight. Do you seek an audience? I've never heard of her. Based on your appearance, I'm thoroughly unsurprised. Nevertheless, do you wish to challenge her? Of course. I do. Foolish. Yet to be graced by her presence may balance the pain of the loss you will most assuredly suffer. Lady Elette, you are called to the field of flighting. Ah, a peasant. Come for a sound flighting. Please, place your paltry bet. Let's put in a, let's put in a, well, this is, this is a, let's, this is a question Take of honour. But I accept on the lady's behalf. She will begin. I have heard much about you, and none of it good. You've the softness and brains of a sheep. My verses are known all across this great land. 
For they put all who hear them to sleep. For they put all who hear them to sleep. Not bad. Oh, you think you're so clever, I'm almost impressed that you managed to blurt something out. Yet I worry our skills are too deeply mismatched. I'll defeat you and banish all doubt. I'll defeat you and banish all doubt. <laughs> Lucky. I should almost take pity on one so bereft of beauty, of wit, and of skill. But instead, I'll persist till you beg me to stop. Then the sorrow for your words make me ill. I think it's. Lend a soul for your words make me ill. Where did you steal that one from? Thus the Lady Alette has been beaten at last by the one she was foolish to doubt. Now her herald must give me the sum of my bet, while Alette can but stand there and pout. Ugh. Pay what is due and send this peasant away. I grow weary. Of course, milady. Take your winnings, you have earned them. Thank you. There we go. I've increased my charisma a little bit. Um, what's this over here? This 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 white marker. We've we've been going for six hours, so I'll probably take a break and we'll go in a an hour or two for a little for a little bit longer after I've had a well after what I'll do is I'll get whatever this is wherever oh it's in here isn't it got to be. get out of the way haystack the hay bale thing over there please now I've collected a Roman artifact why was it in there and also cool. So yeah, what I'll probably do is I'll probably wrap up this stream here and now, and I'll go take a take about an hour or two. Uh, what time are we on? We're only on five, so an hour, an hour and a half. Um, get some food in me, get myself sorted out, and then I'll set up an event um, for part fifteen later on. Because honestly, I'm not. I don't. I feel I've got a bit. I've got a bit of. Um, I've got a bit of work to do. That that's that's the that's the thing that's going on in my head um yeah so don't worry everybody i'll be back in a bit but for now thank you all for watching this stream i hope you've enjoyed be sure to go ahead and leave a like subscribe share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff that would be fantastic um a special thank you to our super chatters cigarette chair and jack Esquela. i really appreciate your generosity as well as a massive thank you to all the lovely sirs over on the patreon as well which you can check out via a link in the description and whether or not you think it's worth it in the end of the day is completely up to you of course it doesn't matter one way or the other it's just there if you so wish to check it out and if not then don't worry about it because it's not that important and so I'll see you all very soon with another video or stream at some point. Probably later with a part 15. I'll set that up and then I'll go get myself some food sorted out. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Bye bye everyone.